up how's everybody doing today it is a lovely the it is a lovely wednesday afternoon the first wednesday of april how's everybody doing what's up everybody hello how do we sound everybody <clears throat> how do we sound do we sound okay i'm gonna make sure there's no technical difficulties we're all good Godzilla now with the hydration already. We're starting the Kaiju weekly uh, hygiene tips. Yes, sir. Uh, the first Kai, uh, the first Kaiju hygiene tip after uh, our eventful week, my friend, and after the first after the release of GXK. Uh, this one is uh, this Kaiju hygiene tip isn't about hygiene. It's about some social stuff. It's about connection. It's about you know family connecting time with your family everybody uh this is about uh like you know being like our our king in the hollow earth uh connecting with the people who are close to you messaging them letting you know that you love them that you're here for them you know reach out to your family call your parents or just say hi to your parents say hi to your mom tell them you love them tell your dad you love them tell your 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 guardian whoever looks after you that you love and you care for them could be your friend could be your best friend anybody but just let them know that you're there in your life and that united we are we are we are we are we are we are stronger uh, <laughs> that is your tip for the week that is your tip for the week from monster zero and lewis there is everybody could have said it better myself man what's going on everybody that was the kaiju hygiene tip for uh, for the week there for monster zero stay social it's always good to talk to people if you're feeling down about anything always hit up somebody that loves you and uh, if you want to make sure somebody else is doing okay that you care for Send them a text saying you love them, man. Support them. What's going With on, everyone? Your parents, call your parents. <laughs> Hello, how are we, how are we doing, everybody? everybody? Doing? Yeah, exactly. How's everybody doing? We got CD in here. Goji65. Alexis Tyler. 
Filthy Biscuit, Cat Gaming, Tyler, Gojimon, 2000. What's going on, everybody? Cat Gaming, always here. Yeah, everybody All... showing up today. Everybody's showing up, man. The Grim Raptors here. What's going on, my man? Welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. Why? Live weekly Wednesday. We are, we are back with a uh, quite a bit to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. Uh, Godzilla X Kong: New Empire came out and that movie is, is doing excellent in the box office let me tell you everybody the movie is doing great we have nothing to worry about uh there's a lot of things coming our way especially after godzilla kong new empire and with godzilla minus one being successful as well we got a lot of stuff from here on out like this is going to be the start of the <laughs> the extra golden age right here so everybody sit back and relax we got a lot of thought talk about i'm always here a little welcome King Kaiju 229. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is a lovely day, a lovely day to be here. Uh, but yes, like Lewis said, this is we got a lot to talk about. Um, Godzilla X Kong is doing excellent in the box office, it, 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 it's ex, ex, exceeding everybody's expectations, exceeded my own expectations. Um, I, I it's already made its budget back, but it's already you know, making more. It's our and, and, it, and it seems to be on track. There's nothing else in April that that's going to be like on competition with it. So, <clears throat> yeah, we uh, we're, we're we're eating pretty good. I, I I do say I do say so. Eating really really well. Exactly, man. This is crazy, chat. Like, obviously, we're going to be saying a few things uh, repetitively throughout the stream. Like we've said, who knew that we'd be in this time in 2014, right? Like looking to the future. Uh, watching Godzilla 2014, did you guys ever think, like, hmm, in 2024, will we get another Godzilla movie? Probably not. At the time, we were like, this probably won't last until 2020, even 2020. Uh, but look where we are now. Like, we are four years in uh, after 2020, and we still got Godzilla going strong. Man, what's going on, everybody? That's, Call uh, me Dino. Like, Thank you so much, man. I appreciate about, that. Lewis. That's what I'm talking about, Lewis. It's it's like you said, man. Like who th would have thought that we would still be getting Godzilla movies even until 2020? The fact that we're even going like till 2024 is crazy. I guarantee the next MonsterVerse movie we're gonna get is 2027. I think we're gonna go into 2030s, that's, baby. That's literally what people are saying already. I've seen some people say uh, the next movie will be 2027. Uh, <laughs> Somebody said that. Uh, who said that funny uh, little line there? Call me Dino. It left a scar on the box office. That's funny because Scar King's in there. I see you. Okay. I see you. <laughs> that was clever. Ah, dad joke. Ah, ah. <laughs> DJC, what's going on, my man? What's up, bro? How you doing, DJC? Sorry if you guys see me bending over. Um, I'm working on a painting right now. I'm just He's trying working. to work on it as much as I can. He's working, chat. He's working. So he's going to be in and out of the, the stream here a little bit, but he's working there. You guys see him? He, he doesn't want to show it off yet, it looks like. He's teasing. He's teasing. Yeah. He sent me a picture of it. I ain't going to spoil it. I ain't going to spoil it, but it's it's really good so far. So. I can't wait for really you guys good. to see it finished. Oh, wait. Hang on. I did, you guys didn't see it? Did you guys not see it? We're over here. Look at that, chat. on camera better. There we go. Look at that. The next Titan that we want to see in the Monster Bros. <laughs> Bro, dead ass. I want to see this motherfucker. Hey, Gamer Squad. Thank you for the dollar donation, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Gamer Look Squad. That, bro. That's thank awesome. you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. There it is. Thank you so much, Gamer Squad, for the donation. Really appreciate you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful week, actually. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, guys, for somebody, uh, somebody said it in the chat earlier, but chat, thank you guys so much. It is not 100K. We're not there yet, but we've reached 99.8K subscribers, guys. Thank you guys so much. A lot of I've seen a lot of you share my channel. Uh, you guys are you're doing great. Uh, I really appreciate all the love and support, man. It's just crazy that... To think that potentially tonight or tomorrow I might be hitting 100k subscribers. It's it's unreal. It really is. Like that's just wild to me, Chad. Uh so like You deserve it, bro. You really deserve like, it, man. Like guys, 
if you guys want to create a YouTube channel, just start from the ground up, man. I mean, <laughs> Filthy Bisque, I appreciate you, man. So he said, get this king to 100k. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just, chat, you just got to do what makes you happy, and you got to do what uh what makes you what makes it fun for you, you know? Start off with exactly. fun. Uh, you got to do exactly. what is true to you. Uh, and if you get haters along the way, that means you're doing something good, all right? Finn Frost, uh, dude, that's, stream, that's such a good outlook. That's such a good outlook to look have right there. I was just saying, if you're, you get haters, then you're doing something right. Ain't that the fucking truth, bro? Hey, that's that's what I've learned, man. It's literally that's what it. That's what it has been for the cup for the past ten years on my channel, man. You guys already know the OGs here, uh, the OG subscribers. You guys have know I've been through uh, in and out of hate uh, for the past ten years. So, uh, guys, just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, appreciate all the W's. <laughs> W's in the chat from Z Goji. Uh, <laughs> hey, Lewis and Chris, are we going to talk about the many Godzilla X Kong theories that we have in the movie led, had left for us? To, yeah, we got a lot. We got a lot to talk about with the Godzilla X Kong movie. Lewis needs 100K. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. We got 24 viewers in the chat. Thank you guys so much. How did you guys enjoy Godzilla Kong the New Empire? Okay. I, that's the real question. That's the real question right now. That's the real topic. Uh, you know, we're going to get into it uh, here in a second, but I watched it four times. Chris, how many times did you watch it? Uh, I think we watched well, We watched it twice. You got you watched it four yeah, too? Okay. Twice. I asked you to four too. Chris has uh, watched it as four, four times as well. I watched it four times. Uh, I do plan to see it uh, uh, for my fifth time. I want to see it in Screen X. Uh, and... Screen X is like the extended screens. I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I want to do that at some point. Uh, would anyone like a Scar King prequel story? I think it would be cool. I, Caesar uh, Pla YZ, I would, I would love that, actually. Please. Give us that Scar King versus Godzilla movie, bro. I would love that, actually. That would be so sick. <laughs> 8 out of 10. We got 10 out of 10s in here. CD, congrats, Lewis, on 99K subs, and congrats, Chris, on your artwork at the museum. Man, Thank that's what you. I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> Thank you. For those who don't Raptor. know, yes, I, I currently have a painting at the uh, Cincinnati Museum of Art. Um, that was that was, that was, that was uh, brought in there, so it's being displayed there. It's a King Kong painting, so... It's very, hey, well, very accurate, very funny to be going on with everything going on right now. With the first topic, that's what I wanted to do, man. Surprise, surprise. I added this photo of Chris Monster Zero into our stream to congratulate the homie for having his artwork up in the Cincinnati Museum, man. He also had a quote up on the wall as well. Uh, so if you guys haven't checked out Monster Zero artwork on his Facebook, he posted on his Facebook... Uh, oh man, I want to say bro. from the bottom of my heart, I already told you I'm proud of you, man, but I'm proud of you. This is so inspiring. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that you're accomplishing your goals here. This was awesome to see on Facebook, bro. I was just, I was like, man, look at my boy, man. He's completing his goals. He's doing some big things out here, man. It's just, it's great to see this, man. So let's give a round bro. of applause for Monster Zero. Cheers to him. That's bro, all, that's all we like to see. thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, my man. Seriously, that I didn't. I didn't know he was gonna do this, <laughs> this <laughs> at all, bro. Thank you. Holy shit, dude. I I love and appreciate you, bro. Like Chris so, has made exactly, so Chet. Much. Exactly. Let's give this man a round of applause. Everybody's oh going God. crazy for you, you man. Guys. Thank you. I and I channeled my inner Takashi Yamazaki by bringing my little Kong figure, bro. I had to. Bro, that's so it was awesome, his bro. Day too. It was his day too. Exactly, man. W's in the chat for Chris, everybody. If you guys are new to Chris slash Monster Zero, his socials are all in the description below. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, uh, everything's there. The Discord, everything's there, guys. If you guys want to check out Monster Zero slash Chris. Hey, I told you already, man. I already called you about it. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm glad to see that you're doing this. This is awesome that you're doing this. And hope to see you have more paintings in other museums around the country because this is a big milestone for you, I bet. It is. I, I'm assuming. Damn. Thank you, Zeke Gochi. Damn. You're going crazy. Um, 
Oh damn! I hope so. I I'm, I know it will, man. I know this will be one of many because I'm gonna do the best I can to just keep going forward. That the, the both of us, the both of us, bro. Like we're you're close to 100k, but now this is accomplishment for me. It's your turn to get your accomplishment, bro. Like you're gonna get it here any day now, any day yeah, now. Any day, any day now, man. Ain't that the truth, man? Like I'm glad <laughs> that you're accomplishing your goals, man. This was awesome to see over the weekend and. Uh, it made me miss you more, man. God damn. Like, uh. <laughs> Bro, I missed um, you. But... I was surrounded by all my friends down there, and I was like, damn, Lewis isn't here. But, like, I knew you couldn't be there. You know what I mean? Bro, I was there in spirit, bro. Like, that's how it works. You... Oh, dude, you were. Because I just saw you not too long ago. So, like, I, knew, I, I was channeling your energy, bro. Exactly. I was channeling your whole energy, bro. I, I love you, man. I love you to I death, I love you Lewis. too, I man. You, know you got Guys, we got to give all the support for Kamasa Zero slash Chris here, man. He's doing some big things. Hopefully, you'll see some of his paintings up at G-Fest as well. That will be cool to see. Uh, most definitely. If I get this Destroyer painting done in time, I'm going to submit it to be in G-Fest. Hey, Randy Cardona, you're on the toilet watching this. Hey, that's my cousin, man. Shout out to my cousin, man. If you guys are the OGs, hey, you remember Randy. shout out to your cousin, bro. Let's go. If you, hey. If you guys, if, if the OGs, you guys remember Randy Cardona, man, in our in our uh, older videos, man. I have a few videos with him and I on there. And, and uh, <laughs> shout out to Randy Cardona, man. He's funny. Get Chris that's a 300 funny. subs. I want to see him piss all over his collection. <laughs> No! 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 But seriously, oh yes, God. get uh, Chris to 300 subscribers. Uh, you know he's he's accomplished 100 subscribers and 200 subscribers. So uh, let's get Chris to 300, man. I love and appreciate. Master Zero needs so to much. make a Shimu with Kong painting. <laughs> I I will. I'm actually do want to make a Shimu painting real bad because I just love that. I love that monster. I love that right? monster. I really want to. Exactly, Randy. My man has been here since ten subs, man. That's crazy. He's a real OG. <laughs> ah, chat, like we got a lot to talk about here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we got to talk about here. Like, again, congratulations, Monster Zero, man. I'm proud of you, brother. I'm glad that that you accomplished this. This is really cool, man. Inspiring. Uh, but also, we gotta congratulate our boy our boy adam wingard we got to do it like mm -hmm. congratulations adam wingard for making the fifth monsterverse film out there the fifth monsterverse film and also having it be the uh the highest grossing monsterverse film to date so right now it's the i th not the not to date uh but it is the it, it, it uh surpassed like the thursday openings you'll see in a second but congratulations to adam wingard here uh, he's, he did the Takashi Amizaki as well. He brought his SH Monster Arts, Kong, and Godzilla 2021 figures. The Grim Raptor, yes, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you guys had not seen the movie, this... Uh, I'll definitely, obviously, put a spoiler warning up in a second. But when we get into spoilers, I'll say it. But, but yes. Yes, this hey, is definitely going to be a spoiler thing. Get your geek on. Thank you for the uh, one dollar donation, man, through super chat. I really appreciate, it, man. Uh, oh, get your geek ons here. What's up, bro? How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday, my man. Thank you for so much for the donation, and I hope you enjoyed Godzilla Kong: New Empire, man. Zigoji forty five. You guys are my favorite YouTubers. I appreciate that, man. You guys are our favorite supporters. <laughs> Every one of you guys. Yeah, without you, I saw there Godzilla's is no calling IMAX on Friday, and it might be better than King of the Monsters. See, our Godzilla, I'm still on the fence where Godzilla King of the Monsters still is number one for me in the Monsterverse. So, but hey, I, you know, everybody has their opinion. Uh, Godzilla X Kong is definitely close. But yes, ch chat, big W's for Adam Wingard, man, for accomplishing this movie. Uh, this is his second Monsterverse film. His first one was Godzilla vs. Kong. But he's been in the Monsterverse industry since 2017. Uh, so it's it's amazing how far he's come uh, in the Monsterverse. It is. It is. It really is. I custom painted you a Chibi Mudo figure. Hopefully you'll be at G-Fest so I can give it. Hey, I'll be at G-Fest, Filthy Biscuit. I, I appreciate that, man. I can't wait to receive it. <laughs> That's cool. That's definitely going to be right in the collection back here. So, 
Bro, I'm so excited for G Fest. Everybody's always listen. Everybody's always saying, "Oh, what's next right now?" Since like you know the movie came out, bro. Today, right now, officially begins the countdown to G Fest. Yes, the bro. The countdown to G Fest begins G -Fest. now, bro. Let's do this, man. G Fest is like, chat. Let's be honest. G Fest is gonna it's it's gonna hit us like that. It's gonna be right around the corner for us. Like eventually, uh, you know, these next two months are gonna go by fast. Uh, we got what uh, we're already in april so may june is gonna go by quick uh this month might even go by quick as well exactly exactly this month is probably gonna go quick it's already the third you know what i mean it's already that's the third that's, man that's crazy g fest time exactly man g fest time actually crazy godzilla x calling has a special place in my heart yeah so like you know, obviously, Chet, let's be real. Godzilla Kong New Empire is not the best Godzilla movie, nor the best Kong movie, right? But, you know, it's definitely going to uh, have a lot of uh, special places in everybody's hearts. You know, it's going to sit there, like, with Godzilla Final Wars, Godzilla vs. Uh, Gigan, Godzilla vs. Hedorah. You know, those movies. Uh, some that might not be favorite to others, but it's just going to sit in everybody's hearts, like, in a special place. But we, exactly. you know, congratulations to Adam Wingard. You know, it's it's crazy that he's made this movie. And this movie, Chet, I'm not going to lie. This movie literally reminded me of, like, half of the Showa movies, obviously, right? But it reminded me of Godzilla Final Wars, too, a lot, um, which was awesome to see. Uh, which I'll get into spoilers here in a second about that, but... Godzilla's Kong novel confirms Shimu, who was the, who was the one, that froze Ghidorah. See, I, I, I'm not surprised. I mean, a lot of people still kind of believe that Godzilla is the one that froze Shimu, but, I mean, theoretically, Godzilla might have been fighting alongside Shimu, uh, you know, freezing Ghidorah. So, which we will get into spoiler-wise here in a little bit. Yep, yep. Jifus is gonna go crazy. There you are. What's going on, my man? Yeah, but DJC, I agree, man. Chat, I mean, G-Fest is going to go crazy, man. It's going to be fun. G-Fest is going to be stupid. It's going to be stupid, man. It's just going to be fun, though, in general. Hey, that's going to be a crazy weekend. It's going to be such a busy weekend. Uh, you know, Chris and I will be there. I think Chris gets there on Thursday or Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to be... Whatever day Chris is going to be there, I'm going to be there. So, <laughs> um... I went to G Fest one time. I tried to talk to you, Lewis. I try, and you were busy. Oh man, bro! If you if I was busy, man, still come up to me. Like if I if you guys see me at G Fest this year and I'm doing some, if I'm talking to you know like one of my buddies or some, like if you see me, just come up to me. Don't matter who I'm talking to. Like just come up to me, please. <laughs> okay, gaming. You got to see the movie in 4DX 3D. Yeah. Chris, we watched that too. We watched Godzilla yes, Kong the Empire. Yes, we did. That shit was fucking fire, bro. Oh my god. Like, so, obviously, Chad, Chris, and I watched Godzilla Kong the New Empire together. Uh, the first time we watched it was an IMAX, which was awesome, which was so amazing, man. You could feel Godzilla's roar up your nose. But, uh, and then after that, we went uh, 40 minutes out from where we were. We went to the, the mall we went the day before, Chris and I, and we watched, because uh, I was the only, that's the closest 4DX movie theater I got. Uh, so they uh, played Godzilla Kong New Empire in 4DX slash 3D, and that was mm -hmm. crazy fun. That was, Chris, that was, was your first uh, 4DX experience, right? It was, yes, I want to say. Yes, it was. It was, um... That's the one where we wear where we got the glasses, right? Because IMAX, we didn't have yeah. glasses, right? Yeah, 4DX, 4DX slash 3D was the one with the glasses. Yeah, that's the one, bro. Like, that one was like the like a roller coaster. You told me not to hold my dessert, and I didn't. I had to put it on the floor, because it would have <laughs> flew out of my hands. Bro, I, I told you. I told you. Yeah, Chris got the Scar King cookie dough Sunday. That was funny. <laughs> bro, I got something called the Scar King cookie. Yeah, it was the uh, Scar King cookie dough Sunday, I believe it was called, guys. But uh, this Marcus Theater had like uh promotional stuff for the movie it had like food promotion for godzilla kong new empire which was fun i had like a kong sandwich like a big kong burger sandwich uh and then it had like a godzilla spicy wing thingy i don't know what it was but 
I'm being it Scar King cool. for G-Fest. Hopefully I'll see, I'll see you all. Hey, Caesar. Caesar YZ, you'll see us for sure, man. Just uh, keep your eye out. Bro, this Destroyer painting is going to be fire. Oh, I believe it, man. I believe it. Chat, and then, like, when we watched it in IMAX chat, let, you know what? Yeah, because I didn't show you guys these. Let's, let me show you these. So, chat, we had to get the merch. You already know. We had to get some merch. Like, oh, my God, bro. Yes. I. Oh, my God. I, I don't even have my cup because you have it. Yeah, because, uh, so, chat, the story, I dropped off Chris at the airport uh, during, uh, Friday morning. And then, like, 40 minutes after I dropped him off, I was heading home, and I looked down to my to my cup holder, and I just see the Skarkin cup, and I'm like, no, I have mine in my house. I'm like, oh, that's Chris's. He forgot in my car. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yes. It's so but funny, yes, dog. Chad, we got, the, we got the Godzilla AMC theater cup here. We got Godzilla on top with the – this is, like, a five-inch figure, Chad. It's a really good, decently-sized figure right on top of there. Godzilla Evolved. Looking awesome. My brother actually got a Godzilla cup for himself as well after we watched the movie. So, look at that design though. I love the way Godzilla looks on this cup. He has his blue titles. Look at that. God, that's such a cool design. bro. I I'm in love with this new design for him. Alright, man. And we got, you already know we gotta get the other boys. We got, we got the Kong cup as well, Chet. We got the Kong cup, which is awesome. Yes, I love sir. this one too. Yes, sir. Got Kong there. And then we got the figurine, the Kong figurine as well on top with the Beast Club. Godzilla Chase 2054, what's going on, my man? Welcome. I uh, touched up his eyes because all the cup figures on the eyes of Kongs, they, they're boo boo, but I tried the best I can. <laughs> um, but yes, awesome cup figurine there with uh, the cup topper. And I had to get the Scar King as well. Uh, my brother got me this one, which is not nice of him. Thank you so much, Carl, if you're in here. But <laughs> Scar King cup. Got the Scar King figure on top as well. Which is awesome. I love these cups. These cups are so... Finally, after so many years of watching these MonsterVerse movies, they finally do some cool things. Right? Like Finally get some good theater shit. Like, it took exactly. a Oh, yeah, and I also got this, Chet. Hold on, hold on. And I also got these, the put-together popcorn buckets, Chet. The Godzilla Kong New Empire popcorn buckets, the AMC versions. Look at this, Chet. Godzilla in the front here. Those are so dope. I love the popcorn buckets. Got some nice faces. We got Shimu and Godzilla on this one. And then we got the Kong one, which is awesome too. And on the back, we got Scar King and Kong on this on this popcorn bucket. So this is cool. You guys can kind of see the silhouettes there. So yeah, these are cool. These are cool. Cool as heck. Uh, my wife and I put them together and we're just sharing the popcorn just like, like that, which is nice. Oh yeah. Yes, Chet. Yeah, that, that AMC stuff I'm so happy with because like finally they, finally after watching all these MonsterVerse movies over the years, we've, I finally got some awesome stuff in the theater, which is so cool. So. Did they, did they ever do right, guys? Like, isn't that? Godzilla? What was that? What'd you say, Chris? Did they ever do anything for 2014 Godzilla? Uh, man, I think Japan and Mexico were like the only places that got like Godzilla, like 2014 theater stuff. Like I know there was one with like a cup that, it was like a cup topper where Godzilla's like half of his body was above like the, the cup. Um, so. That's so cool though. That's still so fucking cool. Yeah, the, uh, Nilo says that my MC theater did not have the SH Monster Arts uh, figures. Yeah, I mean, you ain't missing much because those figures were listed for $100 at the AMC theaters. Like, some people actually found them in their AMCs, and they were priced at $100, bro. No thanks. What? 
Yeah, no thank you. I'll, I'll wait for the higher figures. <laughs> so, like, I'll wait for the higher figures, yeah, nah. I have done 16. What is going on, my man? Welcome. My man. Welcome, bro. Hope, hope you're doing uh, well and hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. But yes, like, what else do we got here, chat? What else do we got? So congratulations to Adam Wingard once again for making Godzilla's Calling New Empire the biggest opening day of 2024 in the box office. Check this out, chat. This is from the official Godzilla Kong New Empire Instagram page. They posted this. Godzilla Kong New Empire is officially the biggest uh, opening day of 2024. Uh, it has the biggest opening for the year so far, uh, which is awesome, which is great. $100, That's nope, what, I'll stick I, I to the 20... I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I'm so happy. Exactly, man. Chat, like, I, I already had a feeling. A lot of people were like, some uh, some people out there were uh, worried that it wasn't going to uh, work and it was going to it was gonna flop and and uh, people were just worried that, oh, well, this could be the last one. Uh, this could be setting up for the last one because this might not do so well. See, I, Chris and I don't have that, though, that doubt, bro. Like, we were confident this was going to work and it did. Yep, we knew. We knew because certain people were saying things that, honestly, they were just weren't true because again it's just you gotta you gotta take you gotta just look at, read the room we gotta read the room and the room right now was godzilla had just is being talked about a lot so now and then if there's another movie coming out of course the general public is going to go see this movie exactly exactly and a lot of people a lot of fans still do think that like there's some fans out there that still think that godzilla is like this like thing that only like godzilla fans like no the general audience likes godzilla too and kong uh a lot of people out there more you, there's a lot of godzilla fans out there and there's a lot of people becoming godzilla fans uh so just be aware of that guys just be aware Louis, do you think playmates are gonna make mothra reborn scar kings trimung uh apes and tiamat uh Hopefully, hopefully, we can only hope. Chat. You know something that I really want? That, that I really, really want? Uh, genuinely, I really want a new Mothra movie with Gia in it. Just Mothra and Gia. <clears throat> yes, Mothra and Gia. I'm surprised it beat Dune. I, I'm not surprised, man. Godzilla Kong New Empire was definitely way bigger than, than Dune. Godzilla alone is bigger than Dune. <laughs> like, Chris, yeah, like I'm not surprised uh, because it's 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 more because Dune has like such a niche fan base and it doesn't apply to the general public a lot. Wasn't say. Let me refresh the chat box there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, chat like Chris. Oh somebody, God, asked, I need to get. Uh, What's up? Months asked you. Chris, did you get any bad storms yesterday? Yes. Yes, I did. For like 15 minutes. Yeah, Chet. I was working yesterday and I also got a little bit of it too. Uh, it was raining a lot yesterday. Like, a lot. Um, and then it calmed down through the evening and then it started snowing a little bit throughout the night and that was pretty much it. I worked late last night, Chet. <laughs> we got a you lot of people talking here. Let's today, see. Bro. Do you prefer when the movie uh, do OG kaiju villains or new villains? Uh, Fnab seven seven nine. That's a that's a good question. Uh, I'm good. I'm all good for both. Uh, I love bringing back the OG monsters and OG villains, uh, Toho monsters. Uh, but I do like the new direction as well. Uh, it's fun bringing in new bringing in new titans, new villains. Uh, so like like Adam Wingard said, it it would be cool to see like. A director 40 or like 50 years from now remake these monsters you know so that's like it's like basically he's doing his own thing what toho did in the past you know bringing gaigen hedora you know who knows if we'll ever get remakes and monster versus the only ones to do it right now so that's kind of like similar to that that's a good actor bro i would say I love the newer monsters because I love that they don't have to tie themselves down by doing 
what like the older monsters have to do because it's like it was such a thrill like not knowing what shimu sounded like and actually hearing a new monster's roar you know what i mean and then actually hearing it for the first time in theater it was it was wonderful it was perfect it fit perfect. bro it fit her yes. so well like like I, lo I love my playmates shimu figures after watching godzilla x kong like they they did a good job on the on the figures from playmates not gonna lie like yes they did yes they did Lewis, can you check my meme on Discord? It's related to people who say GXK would flop or wanted to flop. I'll definitely check that out, man. Even kids that likes dinosaurs and stuff, just think about the next generation of Kaiju fans. Chat, here's what it, here's what is awesome about that, right? So, so like, when I watched it for the fourth or third time, I can't remember, it was the fourth time, yeah. The fourth time I watched Godzilla Kong New Empire, there was like a row of kids in front of my row and so when Godzilla, Mothra, and Kong... Oh, shit. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, when that Egypt scene happened, and that, you know, the scene with all, you know, all the Titans roaring together, right? That, that, that row of kids just were cheering, man. They, these kids are like, I want to say they were like 9 to 11 years old. But they were just cheering, man. They were having a good time. Uh, and and uh, towards the end of the battle, when, you know... Obviously, we all knew this. It's not really sport, but when Scar King gets defeated, uh, they were like, yes, like, yes, this is awesome. Like, yeah, they were like cheering, man. They were cheering for Godzilla and Kong. Uh, uh, who, who said that? Uh, I think Goji Jojo, you're right, man. You're right. They, the fact that this movie, like, you can tell this movie was towards the kids, man. Like, new kids, new generation of Godzilla fans being made, and that's great because these kids could be the next directors in like 20 to 30 years from now you know yes so. yes yes you're right you're absolutely right brother and that's one thing that's great is because i've noticed a lot of kids a lot of teenagers a lot of like young adults gonna see this movie as well and then like yep. cheering and then just like seeing kong and getting to understand who king kong Yong is and going back and watching these showa films and the older films it's minus one created a whole new generation of godzilla fans gave them what it was gave them a taste and Godzilla X Kong satisfied that taste. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy. It's just great. It's greatness. Lewis, also, do you think if Godzilla got another solo monsterverse movie, they would use Bear, uh, Bagan as the main villain? Bagon? Oh, uh, there's always a possibility, right? I mean, the the way Adam Wingard's approaching the monsterverse right now, it's definitely possible. But we will see, right? I'm happy that the kaijus are getting more attention from around the world. Yeah, it's greatness. It was cool to see Playmates figures in the in the movie. Yeah, it was. It was cool to see yeah, that. It was. it was cool. Like seeing the, uh, I think it was the Kong with Battleaxe figure and the Godzilla with fighter jet uh, figure, which I'm looking at right now. Literally, both of those fi figures are in the movie. That was cool as heck. Bernie I'm is one of us, Chad. He's a collector. <laughs> Bernie really Nilo, no worries, Nilo. Uh, you're here right now, and that's all that matters. What Nilo say? Oh, Nilo said, guys, sorry for not being in the live streams because I got a new phone. So yeah, no, he's good. He's good. Oh, he's good. Yeah, no need to ever apologize. That goes for anybody. No, no one ever has to apologize for not being here. Why are people hating on Scar King? Hey, Scar King is, in my Scar opinion, great, bro. Bro, Scar King is great. He's up there with like those obscure kaijus like Gigan, Megalon. He fits in that category, bro. With Orga, he fits Megalon? in that like, Megalon. Megalon. He fits in that category, chat. I'm telling you now. Literally, I think I told that to Chris and my wife and my and my brother. He fits in that category right away. Like as soon as I went out of the theater, first reactions, I was like, bro, Scar King literally fits with like Gigan, Megalon, Orga, Megaguirus, those obscure kaijus like villains. Uh, that we see in these movies, like he's up there in that list. So, the the new Mothra theme, a lot of people are not liking. I thought it was okay. I thought it. it I was thought it was fine. good. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have any problems with it. I think it did what it did. Uh, and obviously, let's be honest, Mothra was a la last minute change anyway, um, and they had a deadline. Uh, as well, which uh, does kind of suck at the same time, but in my honest opinion, I loved it in the theater and I still love it right now. 
Yo, Chris, I know what I want to make for my college pro uh, portfolio, Stop Motion Godzilla. Remember our talk last night? Uh, just hey, Vrinks. Can you repeat that one more time? Uh, somebody by the name Just Frinks uh, said that in the chat. Said what? He said, Yo, Chris, I know what I want to make for my Godzilla college portfolio. Oh, hang on. Yes. Um, you, he was talking to me uh, in the Discord yesterday. Um, what do you want to make? Like, bro, like, make it yours. Make it yours. Thank you, Steve Clapper, for the sub. I appreciate it. I got the $7 Shimo figure off eBay. We have to assemble the tail minifigure. Yeah, it's a great figure. Oh, damn. $7? That's not a bad price. But yes, chat, like, Godzilla X Kong, New Empire, biggest opening day for 2024. Uh, Godzilla X Kong, New Empire officially debuts with $194 million at the global box office opening weekend. Chat, huge W's, round, give yourselves a pat on the back because that's what we did right there, man. We want to continue this monsterverse and we're showing it. Chat. Side clips, what's going on, my man? I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Our day is good, thank you for asking. I just have to say, Lewis and Chris, there's been a lot of advice and wise words, especially from Chris. I just want to thank you both for having a huge impact on my life. I have Hefton 16, man. We appreciate that, man, and I'm glad you're yeah, doing okay. Thank you, man. Thank like, you. Glad you're having a great yeah, day. Really means a yeah. I, I wouldn't love Godzilla so much like I do today, and I didn't get into art and painting much on until I watched after uh, watched Chris afterwards. Hey, that's great, man. Isn't that great? The inspiration is there. Baby Boogie Films, what's going on, my man? I am always here. Godzilla's calling is making big bucks, right? Like Mothra was beautiful in the film. Suko was a bat, was funny. Shimo was huge. Kong is Kratos. Scar King does a JoJo pose, and Godzilla went all Goku. <laughs> Jordan, what's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. Well, what higher figure did you get? But yes, chat. We got some W's for Godzilla Kong New Empire. This is big news right here, chat. Right here. For us Godzilla fans, we're definitely going to be eating good uh, for the next coming years uh, uh, coming up. Godzilla's Kong sequel was obviously already in the works. Well, not already in the works, but it was talks. Uh, Adam Wingard does want to make a sequel to Godzilla Kong New Empire. But not only does he want to do a sequel, he wants the film to be a Godzilla-based focused film. You thought Rise Goji was I wanted a new Godzilla real? Versus. Oh, that's awesome. What was that? I want a new Godzilla Versus. Like, could you imagine, like, if Adam Wingard actually g uh, gave us, like, a Godzilla Versus, like, a Godzilla Versus something something, or Godzilla Versus blank, or Godzilla Versus blank. You know what I mean? Just give us yeah. a good old-fashioned Godzilla Versus that focuses on him and his loneliness. Exactly. I mean, chat what do we, like look at this man we got godzilla kong the sequel would be like the first but more godzilla focused which is great i cannot wait to see uh if adam wingard is back for this movie i can't wait to see what he has in store with godzilla maybe we can see uh flashbacks to godzilla's ancestors or godzilla maybe some godzilla species hidden within our world on uh, the monsterverse uh maybe gods you know it's going to be kind of the similar story with kong like godzilla's not alone he thinks he's alone but he's not uh, and and Adam Wingard also did say that he potentially wants to uh, explore Godzilla Jr. Uh, in the MonsterVerse. So, because Kong has his own like son, like uh, you know, uh, son, and which is Suko, uh, Adam Wingard is not uh, hiding the fact that he wants to uh, bring in like a Godzilla son in the universe because Godzilla versus Destroyer 
when Godzilla was mourning over Godzilla Jr. in that in that film. It's one of his favorite scenes in the entire franchise. So, Godzilla Jr. maybe. Here, let's get into spoilers so then we can get around back to that point because I do want to discuss something about that later. Also, yeah. I'm going to say this to you guys in chat. As soon as this stream's over, I'm running to Target to look for more of those fucking pop figures because I need a new... Uh, the Evolve Godzilla pop, bro. I need those pop figures. I need Zuko. I need I need Scar. Yeah. I need all of them. I need them all. I need them all. Yes, dude. The only ones I I need from Target right now is the the big six inch because I have the Kong one now, which I got with you. But I need the the six inch Godzilla Evolved. Godzilla Junior equals Doug. <laughs> C-O-X-D-Y, yo bro, I just found out that you live in the same area as me. Hey, ain't, ain't that some? <laughs> There's a few uh, viewers of mine that actually do live in, uh, in the Milwaukee area. Like, uh, there was uh, somebody that actually went to the comic book store I go to all the time because they saw my videos, uh, which is awesome. So, thank you guys so much for that support. Filthy Biscuit. Hey, Lewis, I remember I met you at GFest back in 2019. I remember you asked me if I had Instagram. Now I do. That's awesome, man. No, Doug is not junior, guys. Doug is not junior. As much as people want that, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Doug is his, own, is, a, is his own character. Seeing Godzilla as a dad in the MonsterVerse would be cool. Yeah, right? I mean... And... This is something too. Godzilla Kong New Empire has the biggest preview night of the entire MonsterVerse beating Godzilla 2014, which had the highest it did. preview. Yes, it beat, it beat Godzilla 2014, uh, the preview night, which is the Thursday opening. Let's go, bro. That's incredible. Like, that's great news. This movie's doing well in all aspects of what we want to happen uh, with Godzilla. The next Kong movie should be named Son of Kong. Something like that, right? I mean, this was technically supposed to be Son of Kong, if anything. It was, and they didn't know if they could get Godzilla back. Yeah, I just found out because I saw a bridge at the downtown Milwaukee, and now I think I could try to go to a comic store. Yeah, go ahead, right ahead. Uh, search up uh, Cosmic Destroyer Collectibles and Lost Worlds of Wonders. Uh, let them know that you watched my videos, and... Uh, They'll be happy to show you around in the store. It also helps my channel out as well. <laughs> but yes, Chad, this is great news. Great greatness. The MonsterVerse is also now a $2 billion franchise, Chad. Yeah, they're not giving that up, bro. They're not, they're not giving that up at all. Chad, the MonsterVerse, it's safe to say the MonsterVerse is going nowhere right now. It's going to continue. It's going to continue. Continue the MonsterVerse. Hashtag continue the MonsterVerse. It's going to happen. Doug will be the adopted and the real Godzilla Jr. if she shows up in the MonsterVerse. But yes, Chad. MonsterVerse is at a Oh my gosh, my headphones dollar. keep cutting out. Oh, can you hear me okay? Oh, uh, he's having technical difficulties, chat. <laughs> All right, there we go. Can, can you say something? Is there a delay? No, there's no delay. It's just like my headphone, my audio will just cut out of my headphones. And then I just will miss some, some things that you'll say sometimes. Chat, is that happening to... Is it my end, guys? Let me know. Oh, no, it's if... just, it's, it's, it's my headphone. My headphones are breaking. Oh, oops. Yep, it's 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 just it's just a me problem. I'm getting I'm gonna get those fixed. I'm getting new headphones here soon. Landon Zilla, nineteen ninety seven. Thank you so much for the uh, the sub, man. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bro, you're gonna hit. You're gonna hit this in no time, Lewis. Continue the monsters chat. Yeah, I Chris, it's crazy, man. Like, let's see. Yeah, chat. We're currently sitting. Oh my god, chat. We're currently sitting at ninety nine. Right there, ninety nine. 99,811 subscribers, chat. We are almost there.
can't have a stream without technical difficulties. Exactly. Exactly. The only time we didn't is when I was there. Chat, I know, right? Chat, we are probably going to get into spoiler territory now. Uh, this is an awesome poster that was released, I think, a day before... A day or two before the movie released. But look at this yep. awesome banner that they released. Godzilla, Kong, Scar King, Shimo. And in the background, we got Mothra, the queen of the monsters. Uh, FNAB779, uh, seven, seven, the Discord is in the description below. I actually updated it this time. Uh, if Chris has time, he'll, he'll definitely put it in the chat here in a second. Yes, I will. I'll be doing that right now. Chad, if you guys don't want to, if you guys haven't watched the movie Godzilla Kong New Empire, what are you doing? No, I'm just playing, but we are going to be getting into spoiler territory now. Yes, we are. We're going to get talk about the movie, uh, full blown about the movie right now. So let's, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Chat, I'm warning you guys now. This is the last spoiler warning I'm saying. So King Goji 72, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. So first things first. There's uh, the Discord link uh, to the GFAM slash Planet X uh, Discord server. You guys can have a good time. And uh, we're almost to 100 uh, members in that Discord, so that's awesome. First things first. <laughs> uh, Godzilla versus Scylla, or Scylla. That was awesome. That was a th reference to Godzilla versus Kamanga Final Wars, for sure. It's such a great, it was such a great um, surprise, especially for people who were reading the comic books and they saw, and they get a, got a little bit of context on why Scylla was where she was or what, what it was doing. But um, it's it's good to see that um, Godzilla is in Rome now. God, it's good to see Godzilla in Europe, which is kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Like Godzilla yep. in Europe and Rome in the French countryside is something that I never thought I would see in a Godzilla movie. Exactly. Chad, like, this was fun. This was fun seeing. I, I've always wanted to see Godzilla and uh, Scylla fought, uh, fight in the MonsterVerse, and we finally got it in Godzilla Kong New Empire, which is so cool. It reminded me so much of Godzilla vs. Komunga from Godzilla Final Wars. Uh, Godzilla uh, uh, shoulder-checking him when he first collided with Scylla was hilarious. That was great. Uh, Godzilla's got the moves. He's fast. He's faster than he's ever been in this form, uh, for sure. <laughs> and... And seeing Godzilla just shoulder check Scylla, then grabbing Scylla, tossing uh, tossing her across the entire city, and uh, and and having Scylla like trying to wrap her tentacles around Godzilla's mouth, and Godzilla just blowing his atomic breath down, uh, doing the kiss of death uh, in this movie again was awesome. <laughs> so uh, that was cool seeing, and seeing the guts fly everywhere from Scylla was crazy violent. For a Titan movie, but it was also beautiful. That was just beautiful, like animation. Of yes. Just the, the guts flying everywhere. Godzilla jumping. Uh, King Kaiju said, uh, "Yeah, Godzilla just jumped, like he was sprinting. Then he jumped, like, and then also in that scene when Godzilla jumps, you can hear Godzilla's show roar make a little appearance. If you listen yes! closely. Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. That was great. I loved. I love hearing Godzilla's like show a roar in these movies. It's so good. When you get 100k subscribers, Lewis, I would make an uh, a tribute video about you, DJC. I would love that. That would be so cool. I'll react to that on stream if you guys have it on like during a stream because I, chat, I do what I want to do for 100k. I have something special planned. I will not reveal this yet and it probably won't come out for probably another month and a half. But I do have something special planned. But I also, in the meantime, I also want to do a, another custom Let's Paint Godzilla Toys live stream because I know you guys enjoyed that the last time. Uh, the next one will be most likely uh, the blue electric. Uh, Pulse Godzilla 2024 uh, custom figure. That'll probably be the next one. Um, so, I'll probably do two custom figures. I don't know. But, we will see. 
Yep, that scene was uh, that scene was badass. Oh, and I've also forgot to mention Lewis. I found out the plans for the summer, and sadly I can't go to GFS this year. Oh man, King Kaiju seventy two, uh, King uh, Goji seventy two. Sorry to hear that, man. Don't worry, there's always next year though. There is always next year. Exactly, Godzilla <laughs> dead emoji. Yeah, Godzilla was he was not playing in this movie, man. It's cause like this movie was basically like fuck around and find out energy. Like the Titans were like testing Godzilla the entire time. <laughs> like they were. Like, come on now. Like if you're gonna be screwing around cities and on Godzilla's turf, you're gonna find out who's king sooner enough if you don't bow and submit. Did Godzilla use the ninety eight the nineteen eighty nine roar in Godzilla Kong New Empire? I don't think so. Godzilla was on demon time in the movie. He was straight up a menace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was. He was on a killing spree. Apparently, he had a lot shorter screen time than he did in other, any other MonsterVerse film. But I didn't feel that because he was exactly. every time he was on screen, he was always doing something. Bro, uh, like, uh, so apparently Godzilla Kong New Empire, Godzilla has the least screen time out of all of them in the MonsterVerse. He has like uh, eight minutes and like 40 seconds, something like that. Um, but it doesn't feel like that chat. Like if you're watching, I think if you guys agree, watching this movie, coming out of this movie just felt like he had way more screen time than eight minutes. Like it felt way more. Also, Godzilla waking up in the Rome Coliseum was awesome. I love that. It was. Obvious, obviously, Adam Wingard based it off the animal that Chris is holding right now. That's um, uh, what he based it off of. It's cat. Because uh, he saw his cat like kind of looking for a spot to lay down. And, and, and Adam Wingard was like, I want that uh, to be what Godzilla does in, in the next movie. So he did it. Honestly, yeah. Like if he fits, he sits. He yeah, and he's and he's also carrying down the tradition of like Godzilla being like a cat because what Final Wars was kind of like a cat. Shin Godzilla, Godzilla's Shin Godzilla's tail was kind of like a cat the way it moves. Um, mm -hmm. Godzilla minus one also had like the facial cat expressions, which was cool. Uh, so yeah, just carrying down the cat tradition of putting cat-like uh, feelings into Godzilla. So, <laughs> come on. But yes, but yes, like I mean, what did you think of this fight overall, though, Chris? Godzilla versus Killa. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was the one of one hell of a way to open up a movie, like genuinely. Like, cause I thought it was just gonna be in the middle of the movie. No, it literally was just right in the title card, and so I just thought that was one hell of a way to open up that fucking movie, bro. Literally, that was literally. Great. and I'm just happy they did it. I'm happy they did it in the best way possible. It really was fun, man. It was definitely a throwback. We all know it was a throwback to Godzilla versus Komanga. Uh, it was so cool seeing this. Skilla is a lot bigger than you think. Also, if you look at the screenshot that I I took for uh, for this uh, stream. Like, if you really look, Skilla is really big. <laughs> like, God, yeah, she is really big. Like, imagine Skilla, like, standing up all the way, you know? Like, oh, God, she would tower Godzilla. But, yes, I do agree with some of uh, the folks in here in the stream right now. Uh, somebody said that they wish the fights lasted longer between Godzilla and these Titans. I kind of wish that, too. I do, after watching Godzilla calling the Empire four times... I wish Godzilla and the Titan fights, like Godzilla against the Titans, uh, lasted a little bit longer. They could have done a little bit longer fights between Godzilla and the Titans, so. He had less screen time in GVK than in this, in this movie he has more. Nah, really? I thought he had way more screen time. It felt like he did. Yeah, it felt like he did, right? Yeah, it felt like he did. A lot of the chat agrees. Like, the chat, you guys already know, like... That it felt like Godzilla was way more in this. And Landon uh, Zilla said also, welcome to stream, by the way. Chris, so you can agree with me, I think, on this one. Godzilla felt like Godzilla from Final Wars. He was just taking out Titans left and right. Like, he felt like, it was like that Final Wars vibe right there. It was. Because he felt like an unstoppable force. No matter what he ran into, he was just able to overcome it. Exactly. It was... It was cool seeing that because a lot of people have like Godzilla Final Wars in their hearts and it's not the best Godzilla movie ever, but uh, in my opinion, it's definitely my top 10. Uh, might be my top 5, but that was the first Godzilla movie, the first Japanese movie I got introduced to for Godzilla. So, 
Filthy Biscuit, thank you so much for joining the Discord, man. Appreciate it. But, yes, the Godzilla vs. Skiller fight was awesome. This is interesting. Uh, so, do you guys have seen that, that infamous skeleton photo floating around? What titan is this, chat? <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, wait a second. But... Like, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on this right here because, I don't know. What do you guys think? It gave me Final Wars Goji vibes. Yeah, I did. I like that they used and tweaked the same title card theme from GBK and GXK. Not gonna lie, that's probably my only favorite theme in, from the two movies. The rest are mid, in my opinion. Yeah, it was a pretty good theme title card. The short fights between Godzilla and the other Titans felt like he was overpowered them by a lot. Yeah, I mean, just like Final yeah. Wars was, right? <laughs> it's a bear. It's a bear-like Titan because of the skull. It's like a bear. Golly, you're like a bear. That's what I'm saying. But they're talking about Our that giant uh, skeleton. Yeah, yeah. I have a picture of it on the screen right now. But, I see it. Yeah, that thing is crazy, isn't it? A lot of people are saying that it's like uh, the Godzilla Earth of the MonsterVerse. People are saying it's a giant skull crawler, uh, but the crazy. head looks, but the head looks different. Yeah, I I don't know, Chad. Like, in my opinion, this was cool to me, but it was crazy to think about. Like, crap, that's a big Titan. Like, imagine that on the surface. Uh, that's just crazy big. But it kind of, like, didn't do it for me also because it loses that wow factor of, like, Kong, Kong size, Godzilla size, King Ghidorah size even. Because this dwarfs Ghidorah by a million. Uh, so, this, like, I don't know. Like, after watching the movie a couple times, I was just like, this kind of lost it for me, like, a little bit. Because, like, this just loses the wow factor of, like, how big Ghidorah was and how big Godzilla is. And, I don't know. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, too, because it's also dead. So, the question that people are asking themselves are, but what killed it? <laughs> like, that's what people are saying. Or probably died of natural cause if, causes, if anything. Yeah, probably not natural causes, too, like Chris said. That thing Godzilla is massive. Like, and if I anything, know, right? it confirms that Kaiju can get that big in the, God, in the MonsterVerse. That, dude, that's what I'm saying. And the thing is, it's weird. Like, if Sh if Shimo's the first Titan, you'd think this would be the first Titan right here. And, <laughs> like, God. Godzilla Kong New Empire felt like a Millennium film. Yeah, it definitely fits in, like, the Millennium. The, like, Final Wars category and the Showa, mid Showa category. Filthy Biscuit, thank you so much for joining today's stream. When I saw this, when I saw the skeleton, there's no way that was even alive. If I find out that this hinted a void Ghidorah, I'm mind blown. Nah, but what they did to uh, call him treated Ghidorah super. The anime trilogy? Yeah, I believe so. Imagine Cloverfield was canon to the MonsterVerse. This would be it, right? The skeleton. Of <laughs> oh, what Clover? Yeah. The Gorgira Filmer, what's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. Nah, but what they did to Kong treated Suko at the beginning was when when he throwing him using him as a weapon. Chat, Chris and I were laughing. My my wife bro, was laughing. Bro, we lost our minds. Uh, bro, that was unexpected. Kong just throwing Suko around like a rag doll, just using him as like a like a rag weapon against the other uh, uh other apes. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, but the other uh, great apes, that was hilarious. That was funny. I was like, bro, Kong was putting his... He was standing on business, too, in that moment. He was not playing around. But you can tell... I loved him in that moment, bro. I loved yeah, him. Like, you can tell Kong, like, didn't want to, like, do anybody dirty either. Because this was his first time ever seeing his, his own kind again since his parents died, man. So, he there's a moment where he throws... 
one of the great apes off a cliff, but he, he reaches out and saves him. And he can show that he shows them that he still cares and he doesn't want to like, you know, you know, kill him just yet. But then the great ape, he uh, tries to sneak a, one more t attack in and then Kong is like, you know what, screw this. And he just kicks him off the cliff. <laughs> He does a, I love this is Spato moment. I love that scene, bro. I love it. I literally died when she, uh, when Kong used Suko as a weapon. Yeah, that was hilarious. I was... That was crazy. That was funny. Uh, but what do you think of Suko, Chris? Like, uh, overall, did you, th did you like oh, Suko? Yeah. Um, I love him. I think Suko's a great addition to the MonsterVerse. And honestly, if they ever want to, make an animated series around Suko. They can make it work. They can make it work. A lot of people were worried that Suko was going to be like the young baby Jedi of the MonsterVerse, but the, he would definitely was not that at all. Not um, at all. I'm happy. Like, Suko was a great addition to the MonsterVerse, of anything. Uh, and a lot of people agree with that. Uh, it, it, Suko was not made just to sell cute toys, if anything. I mean, we haven't really gotten, like, cute, like, toys, like... Like, if anything, we got the Playmates figure, and, and we got some cute little Suko plushies, but that's about it. We haven't really got much, and that's proof right there that he's not made for just merchandise. He's he's a great addition to this MonsterVerse. Like, he's part of the good yes. the story. Yes, that's the best way to put it, my man. He's not made for merchandise. He's the, he's actually a character that has, like, feelings and emotions, and he's actually very crucial to the story. Exactly. The entire room laughed when Kong used Suko as a, <laughs> yeah, as a, uh, uh, nunchuck. Yeah, that was hilarious, man. But it was cool seeing Suko. I mean, Suko like tried to get rid of Kong a few times after this, uh, the, the that fight, um, and he was still not trusting Kong. But once he uh started eating, uh, with Kong, uh, that's when he ch uh, trusted uh, Kong a little bit more, uh, than before because Kong wasn't really attacking Suko. But I was surprised the fact that Suko survived all those like attacks when Kong was using him as like a little like ragdoll uh, sword uh, like dude Suko has some good great durability like he took those hits really well that looked like you told hurt. you leaned over and told me that as soon as you saw that it was so funny bro I I said it's I said it so quickly I, I bro I said it so quickly like he has some great durability like Suko can take some hits bro like it's it shows right there it does show it really does I like how Suko had the courage to fight Kong, even when he was ten times his size than Suko. You could also see his character growth. Yeah, Suko was actually willing to fight Kong too uh, in that moment when he first met Kong. Like, bro was not playing, man. Bro was ready to scrap, dude. Bro was ready to throw hands, like, and that's why I think Kong sees Suko in him. Uh, he sees himself in Suko because you know Kong is like that too. He's ready to fight whenever it's necessary. And that's why these guys have these two have a great relationship. Chris, are you painting Destroy Us or Go Godzilla 2008? Ask. Uh, here, let me pull him up so you guys can see him. Mm, if you guys are wondering why Chris is not really talking way too much, is because he's also just working in, in the in the side there. He's got a great painting to show off there. Look at that. Oh my God, he he painted the is that is that is, you painted the black right? Yeah. Look at that. I, I, the black was on there, but yeah, like it's making it more defined and everything. Wow. It's crazy, chat. Thank you. Kong used him Hope as a freaking like baseball bat. Yeah. Mocha, come on, baby. Don't walk on my... Don't walk on that. Come on, Mocha. <laughs> She's always trying to get into something. Godzilla T-posing while charging up at Scar King. Bro! Chris and I, so literally, funny. Just... dude, Chris and I held each other because we thought Godzilla was going to shoot a beam out of his chest, bro. That's what we thought. <laughs> I thought he was going like, to explode. Bro, I thought Godzilla, because he was like, I've never seen Godzilla like do that before either in the MonsterVerse. He's usually kind of done like something like this, but no, his arms were extended out like this. And, and, uh, and. At that moment, I thought Godzilla was going to shoot, like, a beam out of his chest like Gamera, how Gamera does, bro. It's That scene was funny. 
Damn, that's fire, W. Chris. MikeZilla103. What's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. It was a joint of... I'm sure... I'm glad you... Yeah, the movie had some flaws, obviously, 100%. But it was definitely still an enjoy enjoyable film, like you said. You can definitely just turn this on on a Friday night in like 10 years and you just will have a great time. I can't wait for the physical release. Yeah, I cannot I wait either, wait man. The physical release. It's going to be so good. And like... Let's get right into that, though. The Tiamat fight. I was instantly yes. reminded of, of Manda 2004 right away. Right away. Literally, when Tiamat came out of her lair, I turned to Chris. I was like, Manda 2004, bro. I was like, this is this is reminding me of that. It's like, like man, this... the the Tia, I could agree with some people. Tiamat was done dirty in this movie. Like... I wish Tiamat survived and kind of like swam away from Godzilla after that fight, but no, she just instantly killed, man. I can't believe they did that, bro. They brought Tiamat, had a little bit of exposition to describe her, then they fucking killed her. Yeah, bro, that's just, I don't know, that didn't sit right with me after like my fourth viewing of it. Like, I was like, man, I wish we got Tiamat a little bit more, or I wish she like kind of like swam away. Um, and, you know, it's just, I mean, she, Godzilla wanted to use her lair. And she knew that, but she was not giving up her layers. So Godzilla was like, "All right, you can find out then." <laughs> like, "All right, you're not about, you're not submit." Blew her up, bro. Exactly. You're not you're not listening to your king. All right, you die now. <laughs> because Tiamat did submit to Godzilla, and uh, like in the comics, I believe, in the novels, but she was always always that like kaiju, always causing trouble, like Skilla was, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, I thought that was Manda. No, it was... I already knew it was Tiamat. The way... The first... When I first saw her come out, I was like, oh, that's Tiamat. But the way, like, she came out reminded me of Manda 2004 when Manda was uh, on fire in the... Underwater in Godzilla Final Wars. Like, the way she was moving. Like, it just... It was beautiful. She was so elegant. It was beautiful. It was, yeah. And her roar was cool, too. I loved her roar. Yeah, Tiamat, unfortunately, was done dirty. I agree with all of you guys. Michael uh, Baker asks, awesome painting. Do you sell, Chris? Uh, I will be selling this one soon, once it's finished. Louis, did you notice that Kong was covered in green blood and Godzilla was covered in yellow blood? That was cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. They shared. Uh, they both shared moments of them covered in covered in blood from the yep, time right they at the defeated. beginning. Yeah, I did. I, thank you for bringing that up to my attention. That was cool. I did not notice that at all. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew that they were covered in blood, but I just didn't know, like, put that together for some reason. I kind of do want to do a custom of that as well, like Kong covered in that green and, like, Godzilla covered in that yellowish blood. That would be cool to do. That would be, honestly. Oh, Tiamat man, bro, is... I'm, ooh, ooh, bro, I'm so excited to go toy hunting again tonight for a little bit. I don't know, I, I, oh, I couldn't this morning earlier because I'm my nephew, but, like, bro, I'm going to, oh, my God. Heck yeah, man. I get, like, you got me hyped, bro. You always get me hyped doing it. Bro, I, I, I want Playmates to do... Uh, if they can at least put out a Mothra, Skilla, and T Tiamat figure, I would be happy, man. They need to do those three at least. I want a Mothra so bad. Godzilla to Tiamat. Move, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> also, can we call this movie GMK now? Right? Yeah, Chad, because... Uh, uh, Chris, I think Chris was the one that kind of like uh, leaned towards me when that scene, after that scene happened. But Godzilla, Mothra, and Kong in Egypt literally brought GMK to screen. Like the words GMK. Because Godzilla was right here, Mothra was right here, and Kong was right here. GMK. That was so cool. And my brother's favorite movie, uh, favorite Godzilla movie is GMK. So when I told him that, he was like, oh yeah that's so cool because that was really cool like they did that on screen that was awesome but yeah Tiamat was done dirty unfortunately <clears throat> excuse me but it was really cool to see Tiamat not gonna lie this was I was I'm so glad we finally got to at least see Tiamat in a live action project uh because Tiamat is one of those cooler titans in the monsterverse 
Uh, same goes with Skilla. I'm glad, I'm glad Skilla had a lot more screen time in the MonsterVerse, not just in King of the Monsters. Uh, I am going to buy the Blu-ray. Definitely. I'm br even if not the Blu-ray, I'm, br I'm probably just going to buy, you know, 4K release. Who knows? I'm buying that Blu-ray. I'm buying that 4K release. I want that Steelbook. This is, they, re they revealed a Steelbook. I don't know who, but of all of the MonsterVerse films in like, uh, in like yeah. a 4K set. They should make a Funko Pop of Kong in the Green Blood and make it an exclusive. Yeah, that would be cool, right? That would be cool. But yes, Tiamat. It was cool to see Tiamat. It was cool to see Godzilla fight Tiamat. Tiamat's really big, by the way. Jeez, like, she was wrapping Godzilla, like, three times around her. Like, that was just crazy. But, chat, Tiamat was cool to see. Um, unfortunately, she was done dirty. But, I love her pink, though, by the way. Her pink looks awesome. It was foreshadowing Godzilla's, uh, Godzilla Evolved appearance because Godzilla was trying to go to her lair to, uh, to feed on that radiation that she was feeding on to get that Evolved form. That's why Godzilla's yeah. pink. Because Tiamat also, sits... Also, I love it when um, Godzilla Evolved, it said that he increased, like, on the screen, it had a 20% 20, yeah. 20 um, energy capacity increase. So he's increased by 20, 20 times. Yes. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. Uh, and Tiamat, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, Tiamat does sit in, like, the most powerful radiated spot on the planet in the movie? Or something like yes, that? I can't remember. it was absorbing all the solar radiation on the planet. Yep. I heard of her most almost killing Godzilla in that comic. I haven't read it yet, and unsure if that team I was the same one from the comic or a different one, but it was the same old, yeah, done dirty, yeah. So this is the same team that fought Godzilla before in the comics, so that's kind of upsetting that she uh, is no longer in the MonsterVerse, but who knows? Who knows what happens in the future? But we got to talk about... We got to talk about Shimu, chat. Shimu, well, Chris... She, what did you she, think? Are, she lived up to my expectations. She lived what up to my think, expectations. Bro? Like I love her. I love her. I love her so much, bro. She was genuinely one of my new favorite kaiju. She she's wonderful. Shimu is. Hold on. My headphones died, so Chris, I'm going to be hearing you through the phone out here, making sure that we're at a good fun. volume so there's no echo, but, bro, I agree. But the Shimo, One of my like, new favorite Titans. Yeah, Shimo, chat. Shimo, what'd you guys think? Shimo was awesome. Playmates really needs to do a wave two with Mothra, Skilla, Tiamat, Green Blood Kong, and Blue Ther Ther uh, Thermal Nuclear Godzilla. I agree. That's a great list right there. Would this be Playmates vs. Kong figure? Or High Mothra figure? If they were to do that? What was that, Chris? Would that be Playmates vs. Mothra figure? Yeah, we need a Playmates Mothra figure. Skilla. Uh, would that be their first one? Playmates first one? Yeah, that would be that would be Playmates first. If they do one for this movie, that would be their first Mothra figure. Because Jack Specific did one. Uh, but hopefully they do like a Battle War Mothra. I would love them for, for just... If they just released a Battle War Mothra, I would be fine with that. Bro, same. Honestly, same. Shimu. Shimu is my second favorite kaiju and Goji still number one. Yellow Blood Godzilla variant. Yeah, that would be cool. I, I, I do plan... I want to do a custom like that. I mean, I would, I would not be down... I would not be uh, opposed to do one of those. That would be cool. Jacob Goji, what's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. But yes, I mean, Shimu was awesome. Uh, Shimu's roar was great. I loved her roar. It fit with the uh, the look of her. Uh, you can tell it was old and ancient. To end uh, to uh, to shorten it up, Chet, literally Shimu is like a puppy, bro. In the whole movie, <laughs> like. Like yeah, like Shimu was that that puppy that is under an abusive, uh, abusive, uh, uh, what do you call that? Abusive owner, and then by the end of the movie, she gets uh, saved and adopted. <laughs> she did get saved, bro, and that's one thing I love 
Kong finally got his family and he got a pet. He got a pet. Whoops. What was that, Chris? Uh, Kong finally has his family and he has a pet. Exactly. Exactly. So that's probably why she acted like a dog. Yeah. I, I mean, Shimo, I can't remember what the inspiration for Shimo was, but it definitely reminded, Shimo definitely reminds me of like, a bunch of monsters from the Godzilla series. Like, uh, she reminds me sometimes of Varen, uh, Anguirus, uh, the red, the, what's that one? The Ceretosaurus from, uh, not Ceretosaurus, that, that Retosaurus from 20 beats of, uh, the 20,000 Fathoms movie. Oh, uh, the Ritosaurus. Yes. Apparently she was based off the Ritosaurus a little bit. The, the, yeah, the before, like, and whatnot. Yep. Lewis, can you please do a custom subatomic painted Godzilla? Subatomic painted Godzilla. Which one's that one? Is that is that like the blue atomic pulse Godzilla? It really showed how strong Shimu was when she swiped her tail at Kong and made him fall on the ground when Godzilla was having trouble fighting Kong. Yeah. She she literally just and that was it and like he flew across the city she threw him into a building and the building disintegrated yeah it would be cool if playmates makes a Godzilla vs. Tiamat set but Tiamat would only be the uh, only exclusive to the set see they could do that make make the Tiamat all pur uh, purplish blue uh, or the purplish like blue colors like she had in the movie and and have Godzilla have that like uh, bluish uh, paint job to him. Like, boom, done. Kaiju PU, welcome to the stream, man. The blue atomic pulse Godzilla is subatomic. Oh, subatomic, is that what it's called? People are calling it that now? Or is that confirmed? Subatomic Godzilla, okay, okay. I like that name. No, Mocha. Not now, oh, baby. Okay, and some people were saying Shimu was uh, based off a of Komodo dragon as well. Okay. Which I could see. I could definitely see that. Yeah, Shimu was cool, man. I mean, her, her appearance was crazy because she's so big. Uh, she's huge. And just, my goodness. And can we, bro... Shimu was so awesome at the end, bro. She recognized Godzilla so quick. She was like, nah, that's my son right there, basically. And she just blasted Scar King right after that. Like, I I'm glad it, that Shimu... I told Chris this after we got out of the movie uh, screening. I'm glad Shimu wasn't like a mindless titan. She had a lot of emotion to her. She really did. She, and I'm happy that she she walked out of this movie alive, you know? Yeah. Like, they easily could have done, like, the coward ride where they would have fucking killed her. But I'm happy they didn't kill her. I'm so happy she moves alive. Exactly. Can we talk about how freaking powerful Shimu was compared to the Mutos and Alpha Skull, Crawler, King Ghidorah, and Mechagodzilla? She, she did a lot of stuff. I mean, she was pushing Godzilla with ease uh, in real. I'll tell you and this. Godzilla evolved to 20 times. And everything he did to Shimu, she didn't have one single bit of damage on her at the end of it. Nope. Nope. She, like even Godzilla, like Chris said, Godzilla blasted her breath. Godzilla blasted his breath at Shimu. Nothing. I mean, she reacted like a little bit, but there was no scratches, no burnt marks on her, nothing. Her skin is tough, chat. Her skin is like really tough. Which is cool, because, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, because he's also a nice titan, so. Hey, Lewis, I recently bought the Playmates Hollow Earth set. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool one. I got that one as well. Uh, that's a, I love Godzilla's, like, little pink colors on him, like the greenish and bluish. Lewis and Chris, apparently Godzilla Evolve form is not his full evolution. Jared confirmed it in his Q&A. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I'm not surprised. Shimu wasn't just unaffected by the blow from the atomic breath. Yeah, there was times where Godzilla was actually... I mean, she, when Godzilla blew his atomic breath to Shimu, she would kind of, like, move a little. She almost got tossed at one point when uh, Godzilla came from underneath her from the ocean. Um, 
excuse me, and broke out of the ice. And she, like, Godzilla's breath is powerful, though. Very powerful. I liked how Godzilla destroyed Scar King's bone whip and he started running from his atomic breath. Godzilla versus Kong uh, flashbacks right there, Chad. Am I right? Am I right or wrong? <laughs> like, that was definitely just a throwback to GVK when Godzilla was doing that same thing to Kong. But I loved it how Godzilla was the one to break the chain. That was cool for him. Yes, he had a moment there. I love that. MikeZilla103, I do agree, and Chris and I did talk about this uh, in a few streams uh, before. It would have been cool to see God, uh, the tradition of the beam clash come back. I would have loved to see Godzilla and Shima do the beam uh, uh, clash um, in this movie. Unfortunately, it was not done in this movie. I guess what you can call the beam clash in this movie is Kong, uh, Kong's uh, stance against uh, Shimo when Kong had his like axe in, um, in front of him blocking Shimo's blast. So that could have been the clash beam of the movie right there. Honestly, I think the beam clash is probably reserved for every Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla because it's only between them. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true because, I mean... Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Godzilla and Ghidorah didn't have a beam clash either. Another thing that was showing how strong Shimu was when Scar King tried to control her and he had to use the crystal crystal so many times. Yeah, Scar, Scar King was actually like struggling at some points. Like he was like, like trying to do it so many times and she was just... Resisting. Was I love that. I love yeah, that. It she, shows her willpower. Exactly. She was... She was... She was, she was Loki standing on business at some points too. Kong got hit by Godzilla, but Scar King did. King didn't. No, I think Scar King, I think did get hit by Godzilla's beam as well, a little Scar, bit. Scar King did, and he yeah. just kept, he just shook it off and kept running. Yeah, he got hit a little bit. So it was crazy awesome. I watched it and I just got here. Hey, how did you enjoy the movie, man? You liked it? Did you love it? After the movie, I went to the restroom and there was... What? Oh, heck no. Nah. Heck no. Nah. <laughs> nah, that's wild, bro. That's wild. I don't want to read that out. What happened? Oh, man. Let me see. Oh, man. Yeah, man, that is wild. Yeah, Scar King did get hit. Gojimon 2000. Yep, he did. He got hit a little bit. Um, I, I was glad to see... I know this is not a Godzilla movie fully... But I'm, I was still happy to see Godzilla and Scar King actually fight each other. Like, there was moments where they yes. were fighting as well, um, which made me happy. Because we we still need... But the thing is, like, it, it, it does kind of suck because we, we... I'm happy that we got the fight between them, but it should have been more impactful since, theoretically, Scar King caused the great war between the Kongs and Godzilla, so... But still happy about it. The scene where Kong punched that ape yelling in his face was so funny. Yeah, yeah, when when Kong, uh, that one great ape was just roaring in his face, trying to intimidate him, and then Kong just went boop, <laughs> like one little punch, man, one little punch. I like how Kong was bigger but than the other apes too. That that brings us right into Scar King. I mean, Chris, what did you what did you think of Scar King overall? Me, what did I think of Scar King? Yeah. What did I think of Scar King? Yep. Um, I loved him. I think Scar King's one of the best villains we've gotten in the MonsterVerse. He had so much personality. He was so cartoony. He was so crazy and wild. I loved everything about him. Genuinely. Genuinely. He was great. Like, actually really, really cool. Shimu's cute. Like, I... Oh, my God. I Oh, my God. Like, great monsters overall. The One of my favorite scenes in the movie from Scar King is when he literally makes his first appearance bro it's yeah so much swagger to him bro it, it was crazy i mean it was just the way he just like came out of his uh throne uh scar king was cool man he it was on four I, okay chat what is that ape that was talking with suko like the the first time we saw like them all together 
was that people are saying that's his grandfather people are saying that Suko's like dad people are saying that Suko's mom I, there's so many people saying what are what are you know all the stuff but what do you guys think is that people are saying that's just a uh, friend Suko made throughout the years um but the one that it uh, could have been like how Suko is to Kong just someone who looked over him you know yeah. it just could be like that mentor figure because like if it was an, a female ape, we would have seen like more distinguishment of it. <laughs> Skarkin got the whole crowd laughing at Kong, bro. I know he had he had the whole squad laughing, man. He did, bro. And then he had, then he fucking, then he, then, then he, as soon as he stopped laughing, everybody stopped laughing. <laughs> it was sad how Suko's guardian was thrown into the lava by Scar. Yeah, that that was yeah. that was sad, bro. My wife went, and then I went. <laughs> like bro like we had our mouths to the floor man like that was sad oh uh, that was so sad and Suko was like looking at the lava trying to like see if if he would come out and and that that ape was long gone and Suko was crying and then that's when Kong was like all right enough is enough roared and then Scar King roared back the battles began right there so okay so people were just saying it's Suko's guardian or friend so basically Su uh, that ape that great ape took uh took in Suko basically under his own wing. Yeah, G Jacob Goji says, and the scene where Scar King laughed at Kong's metal tooth was really funny. Yeah, because that showed that Scar King is still aware of humans like presence. So the fact that he laughed at Kong, he was like, Look at this guy. This guy needs help from humans. He got a metal tooth, basically. So he's just making fun of him because he got help from humans once. You know, it's just. It was hilarious. I loved it. I love that whole scene. And they just made a whole meme out of it where he was pointing and laughing at Kong. People were making memes out of that scene. It's like, look at this clown uh, comparing Godzilla it's minus awesome. one and Godzilla X Kong. And <laughs> people were just making those memes, man. It's funny. This, somebody commented on somebody's video. It's crazy how meme worthy this movie is. Like, you can take any scene and it's just boom, a meme. A meme. <laughs> you can make Ex a meme out exactly. of it. Exactly. 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 Yeah, Scar King was was pretty awesome, man. I love Scar King. He lived up to my expectations. I knew he wasn't gonna be this destroyer level threat. I already knew he was like, I, I, you know, once we got like the trailer of like trailer, you know, trailer two released, I was like, yeah, he's the only reason he's gonna be a threat is because of Shimo. That's the only reason. So like, I I really wasn't going into this movie thinking he's gonna be like King Ghidorah, destroyer, you know, all those space Godzilla, all those other monsters. Like, I already knew he was going to be, like, the level of, like, Megalon, Gigan, Megaguirus, uh, uh, you know, those obscured kaijus, you know? Like, I already knew he was going to fit in that category. So, the you know, people that are disappointed with Scar King are the people that are were expecting that this guy was going to be, like, a King Ghidorah threat or Destroyer threat. Like, you should have known. He was exactly what he needed to be. Because I knew this, he would be more of a personal villain towards uh, Kong. Instead exactly. of Godzilla, you know what I mean? Yep. Why is Kong and Scar King naked? Oh, yeah, well, they got fur. I mean, it covers up them them cheeks. <laughs> Scar King is definitely Suko's dad, and all as all the apes' babies look like Scar King. Oh, 100%. I believe Scar uh, Suko is definitely Scar King's, uh, like, uh, dad, for sure. 100%. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he's definitely Scar King's son. We saw Scar King had a little harem. He had a little what? A little harem. Like, all the apes. Like, most there's a lot of ape females that had his babies. Yeah, yeah. Scar King also had his little corner of female apes in the corner, man. He... Bro's standing on business. Shit. He's doing what he's got to do. <laughs> like... It, bro, he is. He knows. He knows what he's got to do. He's got to continue his legacy, man. That's... Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, bro. That's perfect. This is coming out really good. I'm making a lot of good progress on this destroyer painting. 
Let's see, let's see that. Let's see all that process. All right, I've been inking, getting some line art done on them, but. Whoop, whoop. Pearl's wild, man. The fact that he does this, man, is crazy. Yeah, Mike Zilla 103 said, I wonder if one of his uh, uh, babies will turn out just like him. I would Future think so. Because, I mean, Scar King is so old. I'm assuming he has a lot of children that are like Kong's age. You know what I mean? Because Kong is relatively young still. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and that's crazy because like half of those, uh, you know, baby apes, uh, they were about Suko's age, maybe a little bit younger because they were still with their moms and stuff. They were younger. So. So they were younger, um, but, you know. Lewis, have you completed the entire band of creation line? I have not yet. I have not. I, I still need, I still need one of the band of creation. Chibi Godzilla 2014 sets. I need the band of creation. San Diego Comic Con Godzilla 2014 with the blue dorsal plates. I need the band of creation Godzilla 2004 San Diego Comic Con figure with like the red and purple highlights. And... I believe those are the only ones I need from the Bandai Creation line. I want to say, I believe those. Oh, yeah, that's the only ones I need so far. I just need like three more figures, basically. Four more figures. Bro, does this mean Kong will ma mate with the Vimo apes? How bro going to pay child support? Bro, he don't need to pay. He's the king, <laughs> man. Well, let's see. Scar King was awesome. Uh, Godzilla Evolved was great. Kong was great. They were they did their part in their movie. Godzilla was awesome. I loved Godzilla's fight with Scar King. Godzilla was doing what he does best, being Godzilla, taking out Titans left and right. Uh seeing him in the hollow, hollow Earth was surreal. Like that he knows he's been there before. It was great. So like he's been there before for sure. And it shows when he's in the like the gravity uh the gravity battle. Uh the zero gravity battle, like he, he's been through this before like he knows how to and plus he swims a lot so he fights in underwater so he knows how to like control himself with zero gravity because swimming underwater is kind of like that as well he was so elegant wasn't he yeah just the way he was just moving the way he's flicking his tail hitting those other apes out of the way yeah. i loved it i loved every single bit of it bro bro and shimo froze godzilla in that battle and godzilla if it wasn't just from all three yeah yeah and god and and Mothra came out and saved the day. Uh, and Godzilla just heat himself up and kind of did like a nuclear punch out of the ice and would just swam, like kind of not swam, but like floated towards uh, uh, Shimo and started fighting again, bro. Like Godzilla mm -hmm. was not playing. Oh my God, bro. I'm... Mm. Bro, I really want to go for. I I keep seeing people post about those pop figures. I need a new f pop figure for my Kong, bro. I my Kong needs a mate. Yes, bro. You need to go for those. Uh, uh, Target has them. Go to Target and try to find them there, man. I mean, you have one of them, don't you? You have the. I only have uh, the Kong with the Beast Glove and the Axe. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the first one I got. So you'll get them all, man. But that final battle was cool. I loved it. Mothra's appearance was nice. Uh, the Egypt battle was funny, bro. Godzilla did the watch out, watch out, watch out to Kong. Uh, bro, yeah, he did a suplexed him. He fucking yeah, exactly. suplexed Kong. It was great. And Kong? Kong got his punches in. Oh, thank you, Gojimon2000. Thank you for that. Uh, let me refresh the chat box here on the stream. There we go. He's thank you so bros. much for that. But, yeah, like, in the Egypt, Godzilla and Kong had a rematch. And, and Kong got his... Kong got some good punches in. He he got some good punches in. He was uh at one point it almost seemed like Kong won the fight, but Godzilla wasn't done. Godzilla wasn't done. He charged his breath up. Kong ran behind the pyramids and uh and Godzilla got a hold of him again and stomped on him just like how he did in GVK. And he was about to end Kong off right there and just blow his head off with his atomic breath. And boom, Mothra came out and, and stopped Godzilla. I think that scene with Godzilla realizing Mothra is in front of him, in front of him again was one of my favorite scenes in the whole entire movie. Oh yes, just how he looked like he hasn't seen her in so long. He was just so happy. Like I was Bro, the happiest he was he's happy. been in a while. Like, like people are quoting uh, this quote, like "You're as beautiful as the day I lost you." Like, bro, that is 
That's so real. Like, that's so true, man. It's just like, it is Mothra real. was there. Yeah, Kong dragging Godzilla was hilarious because I first, I was like, I was like shaking Chris. I was like, Chris, he's going to do the famous, like, shake, uh, you know, how, uh, you know how King Kong in 1962 took Godzilla and just swung him with his tail? Like, I, I, I thought, thought he was going to do that, bro. That would have been so good. I thought that was going to happen, bro. I thought we were going to finally see that again. Uh, and I was shaking Chris like so quickly. I was like, Chris, he's gonna do it. He's gonna shake. He's gonna throw Godzilla with his tail. Uh, he's gonna but throw Godzilla no, he actually just kind of just drags him. And uh, I hoped he would have. That would have been so funny. But still, what we got was great. I'm so happy. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I'm happy wonderful. with that. Like, I'm happy Mothra was there. Mothra and Godzilla. Like, Godzilla was, like, had an understanding. And since Gia was uh, had like you know she has like this uh, communication tele you know telepathically. Godzilla is also communicating with Gia at that moment as well because it's it's confirmed that Mon was, you know, the monsters, yeah, right. in, the Iwi people and the ancient people can uh, 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 communicate with Titans. So, Gia was literally talking to Godzilla in that in that scene as well. That was humans humanity's first time talking to Titans in like I don't know how long. Yeah, exactly. That scene when Godzilla jumped into the river reminded me of Godzilla vs. Sea Monster. Yeah, that was also a nice little nod to Godzilla vs. Sea Monster and Godzilla 1998. Yes, the way he was just lunging himself. It's just beautiful, the man. Bro, when I Godzilla jumped, jumped off that design. cliff, that was funny, bro. I never thought I'd see that in the MonsterVerse, not gonna lie. Excuse me. What's funnier, too, is that he went for such a long way. Apparently, that was over, like, 200 miles. Or so. It was a, it's a very, very long way he traveled. Yeah. Yeah. It, obviously, in the movie, uh, it they had to, like, worry about pacing and stuff. So, obviously, it felt like Godzilla was, like, right, like, not even that far. But, chat, Godzilla in that scene was here and Kong was here. And this, like, this distance... Let's put it in perspective for humans. This distance, it was confirmed that this would be a nine-hour flight right here. From point A to point B. So, Kong, Godzilla heard Kong's roar from all the way over there. And Godzilla heard, and Kong heard Godzilla's roar from all the way over there. He knew he was coming, bro. He knew he was coming. He sensed him. He sensed him. It's not like Kong was seeing... Godzilla on that cliff, like Godzilla had yeah, to travel, because yeah. obviously when Kong is in Egypt, there's two different locations. It was, it was um, it was um, I I think oh my god, it was just it was just cool to see like how Godzilla sensed him and how they sensed each other in a cinematic sense, and exactly. just like Godzilla did that run in like about 30 minutes like he went over there fast very very fast bro like that just shows how fast godzilla evolved can swim like this just like yeah our godzilla 2008 godzilla was speeding yeah he was <laughs> excuse me i love how they made the screen slower when godzilla jumped off the cliff i can also say uh i also like how that they had his growl during the slow motion part. Yeah, his like, uh, yeah, that was cool. Yes, that was so dope. So yeah, that was cool, man. Like Mothra showing up was awesome. That was beautiful. Uh, I thought Mo like it, it does kind of, if the more you look at it, it does kind of feel like Mothra was at in last minute and same with Godzilla. But what I say guys, at the same time, in my trailer reaction, I said, I don't care if Godzilla in this movie for less than like 10 minutes. I've still, as long as I see these two teaming up, I don't, I don't care. Like, it satisfied me. This movie definitely satisfied, satisfied me at the end of the day. Yes, it satisfied me as well, my brother. It, uh, it gave me everything that I really wanted to see when it comes to these kind of monsters in these movies. It, um, it, it, uh, it, it scratched that itch, you know what I mean? Like that Showa era itch that I've been watching. And I'm not saying this movie Showa era entitled because we've had 
fucking Millennium movies and Heisei movies that have been this wacky. It's just, it dips its toe into Godzilla's wackier side and makes sure all the human characters are just really there for exposition. Like, they don't, yeah. they're not there to really, like, spew some kind of, like, knowledge that, like, oh, this is what humans are doing to the planet. This is what we're doing. None of that shit. It was just explaining what the monsters were doing and stuff that we were being shown. Just a little, a little bit of extra stuff. And there were, and like, there were scenes where... Where the, where the monsters themselves carried the fucking movie. Like Kong himself, were, were, there, were there were just, there were no humans. And he did things himself where he just actually carried the scenes. So it's just, this movie was great. It, 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 it was great. It, 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 it did everything it needed to do. And yeah. it was, it was, oh God, I just had a, it was, it was just so much fun. So much fun. It was, man. It was like, it was really fun. Like Chris said, I mean, that this whole movie was great. I I loved it. I always will love it. Uh, over time, my opinions might change in the movie, obviously. But uh, as of now, I can't. I don't know if I want to put it as my third favorite MonsterVerse film or my second favorite MonsterVerse film. Number one is still going to be King of the Monsters, no matter what, unless the next movies prove me wrong. But King of the Monsters, it hit home, man. That just that movie is unbeatable That's a in my good opinion. One, bro. What's your what's your top three favorite MonsterVerse films right now? My top three favorite MonsterVerse films: number one, King of the Monsters, all the way. Number yep. two, like I said, number two, it's so hard because right now I'm contemplating on having GVK as number two or GXK. Uh, I don't know, man. I right, as of now, I'll put GVK right there as of now because GXK is still fairly new. And so I still got to watch it a few more times to really, like, I don't know. I really got to see. But as of now, GXK is number three right now for the MonsterVerse. This is the MonsterVerse chat. What do you guys, uh, what do you think, Chris? What's your All right, that's good. That's mine. Uh, Good, good picks. Good picks. Uh, For me, uh, I would say Kong Skull Island, my number one. My number two would be GXK. This is the newest one. And my third favorite would be 2014. That's a good list. That's a unique one right there. That's good as hell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Imagine I love King drop- of the Monsters. And don't get me wrong. I love King of the Monsters. Like, yeah, that movie's fucking great, in my opinion. Yeah, King of the Monsters, man, hits different for me, man. I, the part where all four of the Titans jump at each other and the roar while in slow motion was throwing me off. I thought it was this. It was the coolest crap ever. A lot of people were comparing it to like a Avengers kind of style scene, but I don't know. It, I think it works because it shows all the monsters in their prime in the Hollow Earth, uh, which is where they belong. You know, so it's gonna look weird and funky because this is just a made-up world, and the world is way too big for us to comprehend. So we can't really like put sense of scale into this scene. We really shouldn't even try to, because again, if you try to equi- uh, equivalent real world science to all this, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to hurt your head. It's like when you watch Dragon Ball Z, it's like when you watch Dragon Ball Z and then you're like, wow, these characters are moving faster than the eye can comprehend, but I can still see them. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. So some people are saying, imagine the drop kick out would have went crazy. Such a missed opportunity. I, I agree. I unfortunately, hey, who says it's not coming? I, it, it, it did suck not seeing the slide kick drop in the hollow earth scene. They could have done it. They could have done it somehow when there were, I don't know. They could have done it, man. It was just, it sucked not seeing that. Um, but you know, that remember guys, the monster verse is not over. So we could see it at some point. Uh, so I really wish Shimo used her. Dagomai's tail on a titan or a building. Yeah, her tail was cool. I, You know, she used it on Kong. So. Number one, GM, GMK. No, number two. Oh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. JK, JKM, that's what I meant to say. Number two, GXK. Number three, Godzilla 2014. Yeah, that's your top three. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. But this fight, final battle was awesome, man. I don't... Pfft, I oh, was, yeah. I love that final battle. That final best, battle bro, was, was dope. Chris and I were at the edge of our, edge of our seats, bro. We were, like, 
like this. Uh, watching clinching each other, bro. <laughs> clinching each other. Like that. That that was a, such a crazy scene, man. I'll never forget it. And my brother actually, I still got to send these to Chris, but my brother actually recorded our second time watching it in 4DX. Uh, he sent, he kind of recorded Chris and I, uh, uh, watching the movie in 4DX, and it was funny. I don't know if I'll ever add that in the video. I'll probably add that in an upcoming vlog for the Godzilla X Kong movie, but. Bro, I hope man. you add it. If you don't add it, I'll upload it in mine. You could do that, exactly. Chat, and we got, we got our queen back. We got Mothra back. We already know this. We got Mothra. Mothra still red. Uh, she still looks the same as the King of the Monsters Mothra version, obviously. Uh, she does have a little bit more. Her orange highlights are uh, more shown here because, it, you know, she's in the daytime a lot more. And and it's it's great stuff. She's not covered in uh, in rain or smoke or anything. She It shows a lot of her beautiful colors off more. Mothra... Yes. Mothra's role was pretty good. What did you think of Mothra, Chris? I loved her in this movie. Everybody feel like she might be tacked on and whatnot. I feel like she played the perfect role of what she needed to be. Adam Wingard has been hinting that this might be a different Mothra. You know what I mean? Like a quote unquote, like the uh, uh, quote unquote, an original Mothra. Like, um, so like, and, and I'm like, I'm interested to see what kind of lore he introduces with that. But like, overall, I thought like, she it felt like her appearance and like what she does uh, and like normally in uh, normal movies where she'll show up and help humanity and i loved how this in this continuity the the tribe that the great apes protected on skull island were also the mothra people you know exactly. that they protected the mothra people on a smaller scale when mothra was out protecting the world the kongs were protecting her people you know what i mean so it shows that she's kind of that bridge that branches godzilla and the kong species in a way and i love exactly that. yeah mothra plays a unique role man in these monsterverse movies like i was so happy to see mothra back uh seeing mothra in front of godzilla again was awesome and and seeing godzilla bro literally the only god, the only Titan Godzilla's listening to, bro, is is Mothra. <laughs> it's literally Mothra, her, his queen. Uh, he's he's only listening to Mothra, man. That's literally how it works. Like you can't break bro, that dead up. Dead ass. He and, doesn't care about no other monster. He just, like he's not listening at all. Exactly. Oh, excuse me, chat. Yeah, this is definitely the Mothra that was shown at the end of the King of the Monsters film. Uh, with the the egg that was left behind for Mothra, and it's definitely just it's her soul, uh, most likely going towards this Mothra. So this Mothra always lives on, no matter what. Uh, her her soul genetically transfers into the next being of Mothra. Uh, but that could be a good uh, a cool way to uh, a cool plot twist to go about it with Mothra. As Chris said it, like this could been this could be an ancient Mothra, like a new Mothra, like maybe another Mothra we haven't seen before. Uh, but, I mean, I personally think it is just the same author we've seen in King of the Monsters. And this I is think so, too. Has, yeah, this is the same one that has lived on for generations. So, Godzilla is same for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> T. Woods, welcome to the stream. She's the same, just golden. Yeah, Mothra was beautiful in this movie. I'm not going to lie. While watching the final battle, I literally thought Godzilla was going to go Super Saiyan and, and doing the Dragon Ball Z com combined. Yeah. <laughs> which one's which one was your favorite scene in GXK, Dreamy X? Chris, what was your favorite scene, if you remember? In my my favorite scene in this movie? Um I would say the Egypt scene where they're all roaring together. Like yeah. that's just that's just peak that's kong and mothra's first time like on screen together bro literally it would have completed the entire cycle if rodan was there too bro because godzilla rodan mothra king kong all had solo films and it would have been awesome seeing all four of them together right there it would have but... it would have we need to but yes, uh, <laughs> there were Grim Raptor. Nah, the ships are coming back. I haven't seen them in a while. 
<laughs> Fizz Goji, Adam Wingard, Tease the Third, Godzilla X Kong movie being Godzilla Focus. Yeah, which is great. Which is great, Chad. Which is great. Mothra is beautiful. I'm glad Mothra was back. This is something we could talk about. Chris, do you want to dive into this? Into Here what, we go. my friend? I'll just wait oh, for, you, for it to load on your side. XX Space Bro. G, welcome to the stream, my man. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good night, my man. There we go, Chris. I should have loaded for you. All right, let's see. I just see my boys running still. Wait, wait let me go up. Let me go up. Oh, the uh, the Easter eggs on the wall. Yep. Go no, on, go on, because you showed me listen. most of those. So. Not only do we have the Mothra uh, little uh, pl uh, cross right there, we have Hedorah that says save the world, and it has the two Hedorah eyes. We have Punch, 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 the Jet Jaguar, and the Jet Jaguar fist. We have a Planet X spaceship. We have Knife Head from Pacific Rim and Skeleturtle. Like, bro, uh, the Showa era goodness. Oh, look at all that Showa era goodness. Like, bro, exactly. Look at that Showa era goodness, chat. And somebody, I think earlier in the chat said, somebody uh, confirmed, like somebody said it, but it's basically confirmed that Pacific Rim is canon because somebody did a knife head graffiti. Yeah, knife head, exactly. Everybody's going crazy about knife head now. I feel like that's a little cute Easter egg because like, it's because yeah. they were Guy again and because Guy again showed up in Pacific Rim on like the billboard, yep. Cloverfield. And uh, so it's just like, I feel like it's like a tip of the hat back at them because like, that's great. Like, and I hope, I oh man, that's just great. Fucking, it was cool, I love, man. I love this like, shit. I love this shit. Like, yeah, Mothra's Cross is right there. Uh, the punch, punch, punch graffiti art for, uh, uh, yeah, King Kaiju said that, yeah. So the punch, punch, punch from Judge Jaguar is there. The monster uh, Planet X UFO is there. Hedorah's right there. Save the Earth. So many Easter eggs right here, man. It's, Adam Wingard is totally a fan, man. We've known this. We have known this, and he's not hiding it at all, and I love it. He's not hiding it anymore. Uh, the Amazing web Webhead, what's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. We're talking Godzilla X Kong. Spoilers right now, we're just reviewing the movie, talking about the movie, what we liked about the movie, etc. Yeah, Skeleturtle's there. So it's so wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it just wonderful? Excuse me, the Pacific... So Pacific Rim... Could appear in the mon next MonsterVerse film. Who knows? Who knows? Lewis, next movie, maybe imagine the Kong and Godzilla War and Origins of both. Man. No, nah, I would I would definitely just like it to be... Because Kong... My wife even said it. My wife is a bigger Kong fan than I am. And she even said that she wants the next movie to be a Godzilla movie. Like, a Godzilla-focused movie. Because... But, Chad, we got GVK, which is definitely a Kong-focused movie. GXK was definitely a G, uh, Kong focused movie. We need to get Godzilla some love now. We need to give Godzilla some love in the MonsterVerse. It's his time, bro. He's overdue for it. Also, here, a little update. Look at that Destroy painting. Man. This is the future, right? Argo Godzilla 2008. Like. It's crazy, man. Like this was cool Easter eggs, and and chat. This was this was a there was another Easter egg after Godzilla crushes this with his foot. The floor levitates up when he gets when he stomps the ground. That was a minus one reference, chat. Even yes, the, yes, uh, it was. Even the, it's so quick and subtle. You have to really pay attention to the destructive like scene. But when Godzilla crushes his foot down on this little like building here. The, the ground just comes up from like underneath his weight and that was a great minus one reference even Adam Wingard confirmed it in one of his interviews with Takashi Yamazaki yeah chunky Zol I still want Gamera to be in the monsterverse and, ha and fight then team up with Godzilla oh, pff, Gamera man Gamera would have to get his own movie first. You can't just shove a, a, a character like Gamera in a Godzilla movie. Gamera would have to get his own two movies, and then he would have to um, 
and then he would have to meet Godzilla. And the best part about it is don't even make sure like it's in the monster verse. Like just make a gamma movie and then like then at like the end of the first movie tease Monarch. You know what I mean? Yep. Like do be slow with it. Exactly. I got mad and uh on I got mad and no Scar King running and Doug in the final battle. Wait, yeah, so yeah, so Doug appeared in the very beginning of this film, bro. That was funny. Some people are confirmed. Some people are fully convinced that Doug is actually stronger than Kong now because Kong, Doug actually took a piece of food that Kong was eating away from him. Oh, the thing, it's just like playing tug of war with your dog, guys. Don't really be too much into it. Exactly. Literally, that's what I'm it's saying. Just like, like, yeah, like this, it's just, it's like playing tug of war with your dog. Don't play retail much into it. Yeah, man. It was, it was funny. It was great seeing Doug again, though. I was not expecting to see Doug so soon in the movie. Like... <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. That was fun little Easter eggs. I, I, I want to mention these little things because I didn't really mention them in my last couple streams. But we got some awesome marketing. Uh, I, we've talked about this before. Actually, now that I... Yeah, I remember talking about this now. So I'm just going to skim through these. For, bro do what you need to do i believe i talked about these as well chat can you guys remember the bandai movie monster series godzilla evolved and kong with beast glove i believe i talked about these uh the amazing webhead uh yeah hopefully the next movie is for more focused on godzilla i have some news for you my friend this was actually let me see let's go back to the photos here Yeah, so right here, right here, okay, we did talk about the Bandit figures, okay, so right here, yeah, yeah amazing webhead, this. right here you go, Godzilla X Kong sequel, would like to be the, will be the, like the first movie, but more Godzilla focused, so like basically like the first GVK movie, but more Godzilla focused, so, there you go, and this movie's definitely getting a sequel, there's no doubt about it. Definitely getting a sequel. <laughs> okay, so I did talk about the bandit figures. Excellent. Making sure. Uh, I think I talked about these two. This was fun. Uh, more photos of the Playmates Godzilla Evolved Mist version. Uh, this is so cool. This is, this is also what we can look forward to, Chad, in the next coming months here. Uh, some people are saying, like, now what? Like, what after Godzilla X Kong? We got these toys to look forward to. The Godzilla Evolved Mist version that Playmates is doing. They're doing their own Mist version toy, uh, which I cannot wait for. This figure is going to light up with his dorsal plates and eyes, which is also a 13 inch figure. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a little display here that Playmates did at a toy fair in China, I believe, or Hong Kong. So basically the roles are reversed, more Godzilla and less Kong in the next movie. Yes, exactly. Yes. Playmates uh, Godzilla Evolve kind of look ugly as hell. I think it looks better than the Bandai movie Monster Series figures. That's for one yeah. fact, bro. Like, but hey, I respect I respect your opinion. I ain't, I ain't fighting you about it. <laughs> but yeah, so this Godzilla Evolve figure is cool. Can't wait for this one. This is something... This figure's coming out in the fall, but release dates could change. It could come out earlier in the summer. Who knows? My cat is now here. My Your cat is here. here? Which one, bro? Come on, mommy. She's having trouble coming up here. There she is. There she is. There she is, everybody. Hold on. Oh, there she is. Say hi, mommy. There's Nolly, everybody. My baby. I miss her. I miss her so much. Does there she miss go. me too? But, um, yeah, this figure looks cool. Uh, we got the... I cannot wait for this big one, chat. The Playmates Gigantic Godzilla Evolved. That's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get that. Here's all of the Godzilla Evolve figures you can get. Uh, so you can get the the 12 inch uh, giant Godzilla Evolved, the Titan Evolution Godzilla 
uh, and the six inch Godzilla Evolved, the four inch Godzilla Evolved, uh, which is not out in the States yet, and the two inch Godzilla Evolved from the blind crystal back, uh, boxes. That's awesome to hear. I do hope we get uh, to see Godzilla POV and what he's thinking or feeling. I know Adam Wingard likes the idea of Godzilla Jr., so that's a possibility. Exactly. Yes. Godzilla, he likes that, that he wants to go that route, and hopefully we do see Godzilla Jr., because that could easily set up Godzilla vs. Destroyer, man. That could be another re Godzilla vs. Des Destroyer remake. Godzilla, I think Doug is confirmed to be 100 feet tall, so he's not. That's crazy. Than Godzilla. Yeah. You guys see my cat right here? You guys see her? Look at her. Bro, I see her. Hang on, let me get my cat. She just jumped up here. <laughs> that reminds me of the Jack Specific Godzilla 2014. Yeah, right? Yeah, they fixed the head too. I agree. This figure looks amazing. Definitely, it looks like the best looking Godzilla Evolve figure out of them all, next to the 13 inch uh mist figure that they're doing uh specifically from playmates but i cannot wait for this too yeah he's giant i got sad after doug wasn't in the final battle eh yeah i mean i survived without doug in the final battle but can't wait for this figure the giant one i think that yeah here's the kong 13 inch kong figure uh with the light up uh, uh, eyes, the red light up eyes and the, the sound effects. Can't wait for this one. Uppercut, uppercut punching Kong, which is cool. This is an awesome fan made poster. Credit to whoever made this. I found this on Instagram, but this is so awesome. Godzilla 2024, get ready to crumble. And it, it works yes, too. Dude. This is like a Godzilla 2000 like fan made version of Godzilla Evolved. And it works because the Orga in the background could easily just be Shimo in the background. Uh, so it works. Or, Scar or the Scar King poster that we got. The one with his eyes like this. Yeah, exactly. Bro, like you could... Oh, man. It's, I love that. It's so cool. Like, this is an awesome poster. Let's see how many subscribers we're at now. Let's see. We are at 99,818. Chad, if you uh, have anybody that likes Godzilla... Uh, spread the word. I'm trying to reach 100k subscribers. Hopefully, we can reach it uh, reach it by tomorrow. I def I hope so because if it if if it looks like we are gonna reach it tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna be streaming. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. This does fit perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. Shane Oakley, we might uh, even have a new little Godzilla like Suko, and maybe the little Godzilla as a female. Uh, I probably won't. I. I I don't think they will do a, God, a baby Godzilla as a female or a Godzilla female. Who knows? I mean, if they're going to bring ancient Godzillas back back again and like Godzilla's ancestors, I mean, they can definitely do the females, right? Just Imagine a Godzilla versus Godzilla. They actually get it with the MonsterVerse. I want it, bro. I told you so many times. I've told the chat so many times. I've, I really want a Godzilla versus Godzilla movie. Like... Like how Kong had his Kong vs. God Kong movie. That's what I want. Godzilla yeah, like Godzilla. seeing Kong fight the first member of his species. Like have Godzilla fight like another member of his species. That's like um, that's just as old and powerful than it, that he is. Exactly. Cats blink twice if you need therapy. Really? Did not know that. <laughs> She's looking at me crazy now. <laughs> Say T Z Z, welcome to the stream. Oh, Chris is gone. <laughs> you don't already know this always happens, Chad. This always happens. I'll bring him back here in a sec. There we go. What happened? He's back. Godzilla 2024 Millennium. I didn't like this movie. Kind of underwhelming. What do you guys think of it? The a hey, the sci the sci like gamer. That is man. your opinion for sure. Chris and I loved it. Uh. It's not the it's not a masterpiece for for one. I mean, it's not the best Godzilla movie ever made, but I loved it. I mean, I I thought it was great. There was a few scenes where I, I did feel like Godzilla could have had longer screen time in this, um, in this you know specific scene, uh, but you know we overall liked it. Honestly, seeing legendary Godzilla against Destroyer would be scary because the possibility of him sa sacrificing himself. For his son would be more heartbreaking than the Avengers Endgame. My hot take. 
Chris, you were just saying about, we were just talking about that earlier today. What, what did you have to say about that? Yes. Um, that's something that I, what we, we were talking about. I was sitting there saying that the only way that I feel like the next step that this Godzilla has to go is he has to die is Godzilla can literally just take the form of like, I don't know, just like give his life for his son and the world and die in a way where, um, well, where he, he he shows his love for humanity and the planet by giving his life in a way, and it'll be great. And I feel like it'd be great, and it'll be a good way to, to redeem this Godzilla for all that he's done and stuff like that. So, because he knows that he um, that he's bad and he's done like not bad or he's killed a lot of people, but like he's he he know this Godzilla is aware of this like it's he's just a, like he's, he's probably not humanity's what, friend. Exactly. He's aware of all of that so, chat. Yeah, so like I feel like if he dies, this would be like this inner generations like Godzilla versus Destroyer moment where we would send off this Godzilla and it would be really, really sad because we've been with this Godzilla for so long now. So long. Bro, I know man. It's and they uh, they have to I don't know if anybody remind or remembers this. Does anybody remember this custom theme somebody did of like Godzilla's uh meltdown for the monsterverse? In 2014? Does anybody remember that? I'm trying to remember. I think so. Somebody did like an awesome fan made like theme if Meltdown Godzilla became a thing in the Monsterverse. Somebody did it. Does anybody remember that? They have to just snag that, pay the guy and snag that, and just put that in that scene. It has to be like that. Fun fact, the Kong that was kicked in the fire is Godzilla X Kong was Suko's dad when he brought a stranger slash Kong into Hollow Earth. Was it Suko's dad? A lot of people are saying it's Suko's guardian or like Suko's friend. I mean, I... We gotta wait until Adam Wingard confirms it because once he says it, man, it's... It's game. Meltdown Godzilla happens to be the only Godzilla figure I own. It would be sad, man. Following Godzilla since this Godzilla since 2014 and having him die like, what, like, let's say if he dies in like two more movies, it'll be like 2030. If Godzilla, if the next Godzilla movie, Godzilla Kong 3, uh, comes yeah. out in 2027, the MonsterVerse could continue until 2032 or 2035. Who knows? <laughs> like, it's just crazy. But, yeah, and then we got the... This is the last thing we're covering, the, the, the Godzilla Kong New Empire Steelbook, Blu-ray. Uh, this is fun. Uh, 4K release, this is awesome. Uh, we already got it, we got it announced so quick. Uh, we also got announced, uh, we also got, uh, let's, let me see if I can actually add it, because I think I have the photo here. Really quick. Let me see, I think I have it here. Let's see. Do I have it? Do I have it? I do not have it, but we, anyway, it was just, uh, the Hayatoi Shimo got released as well. That was awesome. Uh, we already knew that that Shimo was going to come out from Hayatoi's, but yeah, yeah, you found the fan-made death scene. Th that, listen to that theme, man, and imagine this Monster vs. Godzilla where he's at now dies with that theme. I would tear up, man. It'd be, It'd be crazy, crazy, dude. It'd be actually crazy. What do you guys think of King of the Monsters? I noticed that film gets a lot of hate. Oh, that's my favorite MonsterVerse film. I love King of the Monsters. It's not, but it's not my top three, but like I love it. It does get a lot of hate, doesn't it? Chad, we had a great time today. We've been streamed for two hours. Yeah, we have. Chat, I actually want to show you. Stay tuned for this unboxing. But I actually got some figures that I actually do want to show off. Uh, got these from YMSF. 
We got a glitter Godzilla. A new one. Look at that. Hey, I already touched yours. I'm good, bro. I think the the glitter Godzilla memes have finally come to an end because Chris, he 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 looked at the figure when he was here. He was satisfied. <laughs> I was. I was. I was. And not until I'm not until I grab yours, bro. I'm gonna seal yours eventually. <laughs> but I got a YMSF super. Uh, uh, I think this one was called uh, YMSF Super Black Glitter Godzilla. So this was awesome. Godzilla 1998 figure right here. Oh, we were talking about spoilers from the very, very beginning of the Amazing Webhead. <laughs> We've been... Yeah, we were. But yes, this is a cool figure, man. I love this thing. Got that, guys. Uh, and I got some other figures, too, which I won't show off because... I'll be on. I'll be uploading my unboxing anyway. I want, I want you guys to check that out as well. But Chris, overall, we're gonna wrap it up here. What are your overall ratings for Godzilla: Calling New Empire? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, you said. Yep, I feel like it's an eight out of ten movie. I feel like it did exactly what it needed to do and did exactly what it needed to be. And I love that movie ever, literally because of it. That's what I'm saying, man. I mean, like, Godzilla Kong New Empire definitely lived up to the hype. Uh, all the toys are awesome. And, uh, it was it was awesome just, just being in this journey with you guys. Uh, with Godzilla Kong New Empire, with Live Weekly Wednesdays. Uh, Kendall, oh, not Kendall. Kendall, what's up, man, though? Uh, DJC, I actually have three Glitter Godzillas. I have this one. I have that one right there. The, and I have uh, the Hyper Hobby got GMK Godzilla glitter figure. Um, and if you so, want to count the Bandai Museum glitter Godzilla, but that one barely has any gold glitter on it. Uh, hey, I that, mean, it I technically is a glitter Godzilla. But like what you were saying, Lewis, thank you all for being with us here on these live weekly Wednesdays, this journey up until now. But th it's not over. This is just a new beginning. The countdown to G Fest begins now. And um, I'm going to ask if I can go skedaddle. I'm sorry about this. It's just because I really want to go to Target. And they're about to close near me. And I'm going to do some toy hunting right now. Because, boys, listen, this movie has got me in the mood to go and get more figures and to, get, and to support this movie in any way possible. Thank you, everybody, for being here and supporting us and, and, and you know, being just grateful Congratulations on Lewis for hitting 99k. You're going to hit 100k either tonight or tomorrow. I'm so proud of you, my brother. Thank you for loving me and inviting me in your home and allowing me to spend time with you last week and see this movie with you. We promised each other we would see it and we kept that promise together, man. I love you to death, brother. Really I'm going to run man. to Target. <laughs> I love you too, man. You drive safe, okay? Drive safe to Target. Um and yeah, and have a great time. Hope you find some stuff. Thanks, buddy. Take care, everybody. I'll post on Instagram what I find. All right, man. See you later. Chat, let's get back to this screen. Here we go. So, chat, I mean, we've we've had an amazing journey to Godzilla Kong New Empire. We're going to obviously be talking a lot about a lot more things uh, in terms of sequels, on terms, in terms of, like, uh, theories. Uh, there's a lot more things to talk about. We got the uh, more Godzilla Kong New Empire toys coming out very soon. From Playmates, Haya, uh, SH Monster Arts, Bandai. There's a lot of other things coming. Funko uh, could be doing some more. But uh, but yes, chat. This was the end of the journey. Godzilla uh, X Kong New Empire. Uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for the amount of love support you guys have been showing me. Uh, we we are sitting at 99,820 99, subscribers. Chat, we're almost to 100K. If you guys can spread the word, spread the word on uh, Louis Duran's goal for 100K subscribers, I'd greatly appreciate all the love. Uh, you guys are awesome. I've been doing this for 10 years, and I'm going to be doing it for another 10. So uh, uh, I'm going to be pumping out videos every now and then where I can and when I can but chat it has been amazing getting to do this with everybody here 
I'm glad you guys had a great time. Kendall, Baby Boogie Films, Amazing Weather Pad, Grim Raptor, DJC, uh, 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 Delgado, all you guys, man. Uh, you guys are awesome. And there will be more toy hunts to come. I know you guys like those toy hunts. Uh, maybe I'll do some reviews uh, in the next coming uh, months here. Uh, but you guys like those toy hunts, so I'm definitely going to be doing those a lot more with the higher figures coming out this year, like the Godzilla Evolved uh, higher figures, the Shimo figures, uh, and and like all the uh, all the other figures from Playmates that are coming out. Uh, stay tuned for all that, guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys for all the W's and love for the chat. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, I appreciate you, Fnab779. Uh, See you at 100K. I appreciate that, man. Uh, so guys, please let your uh, friends and family know uh, that I'm trying to reach 100k subscribers, man. It's I wouldn't be here without you guys, honestly, throughout throughout the years, and it's just crazy to see where I'm at now. Uh, and guys, I, I know some of you guys have been asking me uh, any more giveaways coming up very soon, uh, but yes, I do have some giveaways. They're not uh, coming out like every other week, uh, but I do want to make some special giveaways here in the next coming months here. Uh, so uh yeah guys thank you guys so much 100k all the way w stream w i appreciate you man i appreciate all you guys uh guys if we reach 100k uh by tonight or tomorrow expect a stream from me because i do want to do a live stream reaction to that uh and my wife says she's, she's gonna get a cake right away she's gonna go drive to the store uh while i'm streaming just get a cake right away so we can celebrate uh Hope it's at the end of the week, 100K, let's go. Ah, man, let's hope, man, let's hope. WBTW or Family TV spots are amazing. I appreciate that, man. I unfortunately had to stop making those Family, family TV spots because, uh, because you know, uh, the trailers for GXK were just showing way too much. So, but yes, guys, thank you guys so much for the amount of love support. Expect a live stream for me tomorrow. Uh, i if I, if I get to 100k uh, subscribers tomorrow, guys, just in case, I will probably be going to Target or Walmart to buy myself an extra Godzilla 2024 figure so I can customize that to the uh, uh, sub subatomic Godzilla, uh, you know, his blue atomic pulse form, uh, so I can paint that on stream for you guys, and that'll be part of, uh, that'll be episode two, uh, that'll be the second live stream of the live uh, Let's Paint Godzilla Toys live stream series that I'm doing. Uh, so, yes, the the road to 100K starts now. That's all I can say, man. Uh, appreciate all the love and uh, support you guys have been showing me. Jonathan, thank you so much. Uh, what's your favorite scene from the Godzilla X Kong movie? Uh, definitely the Egypt scene. Uh, definitely Godzilla, Mothra, and Kong all together. And when Kong, and when Godzilla, like, uh, communicates with Mothra and, like, the look that he has on her face is beautiful because it's like it's like man she hasn't been seen in five years and she hasn't seen in the world in the monsterverse world godzilla hasn't seen mothra since 2019 and when godzilla x kong takes place it's 2029 so they haven't seen each other in 10 years in that monsterverse universe so but yeah landon i see you i see you I see you. <laughs> uh, we'll be there for sure tomorrow. Can't wait for tomorrow. If you ever do more fan-made trailers, that would be awesome. Hey, uh, for the next movies, uh, whatever movies that come, I'll definitely be doing more. I, I'm definitely gonna be locked in, man. Once I hit 100K, it's gonna be it's gonna be me constantly putting out videos whenever I can. Uh, I'm not gonna be stopping every two years just to do another other, another video whenever the next movie comes out. I'm gonna find my way to do, keep you guys entertained. Um, and the toy hunts are definitely one thing to go with. So, guys, road to 100k, here we come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, join the Discord, the link's in the description below. Uh, GFAM, Planet X Discord is there. And uh, it's been five years since the last time I saw you. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's crazy, man. Been here since that series and excited to see you reach 100k. Yeah, man. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this. We're ending the stream off strong with 31 viewers. Thank you guys so much. And uh, let me read off some super chats here before I go. Gamer Squad with the $1 donation and get your geek on with the $1 donation. 
you know, guys know I don't care about money you guys sent to me, but the fact that you guys are donating that to me uh, to, to make my videos better and to make my streams better for you guys uh, truly does mean the world to me. And it means a lot. Uh, the fact that I've been getting donations in the past couple streams is great. Uh, it's awesome. And it's been it's been great. And it's helped a lot. Can YouTube take away your play button? I don't think so. <laughs> By Lewis, you see, you see you in the next stream. Hey, see you, uh, uh, cool, cool nine. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next stream, where we will probably be at 100k the next stream. Uh, but if it does look like I'm gonna hit it tomorrow, expect a live stream. Uh, so tell your friends, tell your family, please. Uh, I, I'm, I'm currently at that goal for 100k, and I've been at that goal for the past two years now. Um, so, alright man, alright guys, CW Studio, see you later man, alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this, remember to subscribe, and like, and all that good stuff, and we will see you guys in the next live weekly Wednesday stream, and in, a li in the next video, and the live, and in the next live stream. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.